everyone welcome to adventure march oops all guests that's what we're calling this that's what this is it's uh an adventure march stream uh we're uh, an exciting time for all adventurers uh, on a seconds day to come and play some uh some dungeons and dragons with some of our best friends so uh we're very excited and we can't wait to see uh, how this unfolds it is adventure march which means we do have some exciting stuff happening like prizes over the course of the month if you want to sign up for a prize how could you do it well maybe you could start by retweeting some of the stuff that we have or sharing it on facebook or uh you know just take one of our posts share it on social media tag somebody you know that's not required but it'd be nice do it it's fun <laughs> people love that people love getting tagged in things I, i'm sure uh, and additionally, you can come hang out with us here, chat in the chat. That also gets you an entry. There's all kinds of ways to do it. It's cool. It's great. Um, also, if you happen to be uh, an Amazon Prime subscriber and you're like, oh, I've got, what do I do with all this free subscription on Twitch? Uh, give it to us. Don't pay for one. If you're paying for a Twitch subscription, don't. Thank you. They've got enough. Uh, but if it's free already, just hand it to us and we'll uh, we'll find something nice to do with it. Uh, and of course you can head over to patreon.com slash adventure to support the show as well. Uh, now of course you might be saying what prizes could we win? 
Well, there's a couple of things you could win. You could win a custom uh, dice tray that has our logo on it, a, a shirt of your choice from the store, including the brand new limited edition uh, uh, Lester Restoration shirts, which are available now. Uh, or you might win one of the slots in an Ancient Dragon game, which means I will be your DM for a group of listeners who will win slots in those games. So those are the fun things we're going to be giving away at the last stream of the month which is our Q&A. So we've got a full slate of Thursdays, every Thursday, 8 o'clock. All right, I've talked enough, and now I'm going to throw to our various guests, oops all guests, who came to join us today, and I'm so grateful to all of them. This is going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to start in the corner with Rebecca. Rebecca, uh, hi. Hi, I'm Rebecca <laughs> Bishop. That's my last name. Don't <laughs> come find me with that information. Or do. Uh, I love making friends. Which is why I'm here today. Uh, you can find me at my other show, The Slanted Hallway, which is a podcast. Uh, anywhere you can find podcasts. Uh, Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the alley behind a radio station. <laughs> or uh, you can follow us on Instagram at The Slanted Hallway. Perfect. And today I'll be playing uh, Barbara. And uh, Barbara believes that life is about growth. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I love how uh, how revealing and how vague that is. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, Jenna, uh, tell us about you as a person. <laughs> uh, as a person? Oh, God. Where do you want to... How deep do you want to get with this? Um, my favorite color is green. And I love... No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm from the Botch Podcast. What's up, enemies? How are we doing? Um, and... I, I I I don't know. I don't know. I like horses, so I'm really excited to really create some mayhem here. Um and I'm I'm you can you find me mayhem. Oh, oh. absolute mayhem. Yes. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> um you can find me on Botched every Monday and Tuesday and on Horse Girls every other Wednesday and at Gen Chill and at Jenna Chill everywhere on the internet. And I'm going to be playing Flitzrith Inkenthod or Flitz for short, and she is a thief in the Queen's Guard. All right, perfect. Adam? Hello, everyone. I am Adam, and I'm very excited to be here. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, I I don't even know where to start. Uh, oh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, my personal one is at the Adam Mata. Or you can find me on my Pokemon D&D podcast, The Roaring Trainers, Canto in the Jazz Age. It's a campaign through uh, the 1920s, but Pokemon and uh it's fart jokes and dark stuff it's fun uh it's for pokemon <laughs> it's pokemon for those of us that uh wish kind of you know it grew up with us but uh and I like the uh today line, i like the tagline fart jokes and dark stuff like <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know how else to describe it uh it's it's wacky anyways uh tonight i shall be playing captain mick mcdagger dagger scott captain of the sky ship the sky dagger pleasure to meet your acquaintance <laughs> Uh, perfect. And Bees. Bees was having some technical difficulties. Hopefully he's back. Pass. Okay, pass. All right. <laughs> he's be playing tonight. He's fine. <laughs> what is up, everyone? I am your friendly neighborhood harbinger of hype. Bees. Uh, you can catch me on uh, Twitch Whoa. at big underscore bees uh, and everywhere else on the interwebs at biggest underscore bees. I do a little bit of everything. I, uh, uh, professionally scream at people. Um, I do a little bit of pixel art, some game design, streaming. Uh, I just finished writing uh, my first Pokemon one shot uh, because Adam and stuff. So, you know, <laughs> just all these things out here. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. Not good at any of it, but I do a little bit of everything. So, I like that I, you're the biggest bees most places, but on Twitch, there's just, there's a bigger bees and it's fine. You can just be big bees. <laughs> Well, see, I don't, I don't want to. I, I, I specifically told you in DMs that I didn't want to talk about that. The stream, right? Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot. And I would like it if you respected that. All right. Sorry. All right. That is a whole thing that I just don't want to get into right now. Okay. Wow. That is a legal battle, and I am on house arrest because of it. All right. So thanks for bringing that back. We're, up. we're coming for your biggest beast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying his brakes were cut, but you know, if he goes over fifty, who knows what happened? You know. I might just change it on Twitch. Yeah. Just saying. 
Oh, I will be playing uh, my character when I can find it. Oh, there we go, Kazarok. He is a, <clears throat> a very interesting individual. He believes in his heart and soul that he is a druid. He is a Goliath and he knows uh, he is a druid and he just has to uh, find the perfect uh, uh, spell casting focus so that he can properly use his spells. He is in fact a barbarian though. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great uh these characters have uh if, if you're like huh these sound familiar these characters have appeared either on a tavern night or on our patron episodes so if you're not a patron you should have to patreon.com slash adventure and become one and then you could listen to these characters in other places uh because it's worth it i promise i i, I hope so at least it's hard for me to say for sure but you know i just assume uh all right <coughs> are you guys ready no. All right. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Give it a minute. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Thanks. All right, I'm ready now. All right. No. <laughs> All right great. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So the four of you are adventurers with Adventure Incorporated, and uh, you have had some adv- some some missions you've gone on with various teams. You've uh, you've had friends. You've lost friends in the line. It's a dangerous job, uh, and sometimes you get the summons to return back to headquarters for for special uh, special occasions, special events that have come your way. And each of you has received the summons to meet back at the Adventure Incorporated Tower uh, at the Brass Palace uh, in Mughamar for, uh, you know, you've been specifically, you were already working with other people and you got a, a special summons, had to come away from your group to come back and meet here uh, at this place. So uh, one by one, you arrive at the Brass uh, Palace. What have you been up to? What, what, how, how, on your way here, uh, coming to this place, uh, what's sort of been your, your big hurdle getting back to the Brass Palace after all this time? You can jump in whenever. I'll, I'll start, <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, yeah. yes. Hello, everyone. It's, it's nice to meet everyone. I'm Mick McDagger Dagger. <laughs> Former sky captain of the sky ship, the sky digger. You see, uh, I might, I apologize for my disheveled appearance. You see, I, I'm usually quite crisp, but uh, I, I had a long and weary road ahead of me to get here. You see, someone stole my ship, my sky oh. ship. <laughs> and I, I need to get it back, but of course I need some funds and some help. So here I am uh, answering the summons. Uh, it was, they were sneaky. You see, they, they gave me this rune a stone with runes on each side and I was to decipher them. And I did, I spent day and night, day and night. And I deciphered the first side and it says to keep Mick Dagger busy, turn over. So I turned it over and I more runes and I just spent day and night deciphering. And it said to keep Mick Dagger busy, turn over. So I turned it over and I spent weeks and weeks turning it over and turning it over. And by the time I figured out I've been tricked, my ship was gone uh okay sir uh, well uh if you'd like there's oh a this room is an applebee's with... i'm sorry yes <laughs> i took a left i meant to take a right excuse me i will have some apps it is before five or after i forget uh, uh okay great so uh they they um they've got a space set up for you as you arrive uh here at the tower so that's that's we now know you've been on a long road Traveling mm-hmm. uh, a long time, no no airship to your name. You used to have a hundred airships, a fleet. Correct. Yes. Now nothing. Now nothing. Yet uh, I'll get it. I'll get it back. <laughs> you can take the captain out of the name, but you can't take the name out of the cap. Wait, hold on. <laughs> that don't seem right. I'm very distraught. It's fine. Go to the next person. <laughs> uh bees tell me what this travel has been like uh for kazarak oh hello hello everyone i'm sorry it took so long i tried to uh teleport in here but i I believe there's a uh anti-magic field so i wasn't able to teleport in um so i uh uh all, all this around my neck these are different uh these are actually uh 76 
78 different arcane focuses that I've picked up along the way. I'm sure one of them is going to work. Um, it just hasn't yet. I just need to figure out what exactly is going on. Um, yeah, so it's just been a lot of that, a lot of, lot of just uh, getting my magic. I'm right on the cusp, right on the cusp of my magic working. Um, there have been a couple blackouts, um, and then people died. I don't know why. Uh, I think there's something. I think it's that that spirit animal that's that's been attached to me. Um, I don't I don't know his name exactly. I just remember when my friend died. Uh, that spirit animal got attached to me, and started following me and spitting out poetry. Um, I don't really understand poetry too much, but it's uh, some of the words rhyme, and that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just uh, I actually got lost and then was told to come back here because uh, there was this group of kobolds and somehow they all died with axe wounds. I don't know how. Um, I I wasn't like I went there, I sat down, drank some tea, tried to do a little magic felt sleepy and then next thing i know i woke up everyone's dead so i don't know there's some kind of like bandit out there that needs to be taken care of and i mean i, I hopefully hopefully the adventuring can you know help me help me take care of this uh, of course sir uh just just come with me and he leads you back to a room as well uh here yeah. in the tower <laughs> so can you tell me exactly what areas are uh, uh, blocked off from magic so that I can I can practice in the in the proper areas? Oh, it's um, that's strange, sir. I've, I've never heard of any area on the tower being blocked, uh, you know, being blocked for magic. That should all be be good to go. Oh. Okay, <laughs> uh, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so the strangest thing happened you know as as a dragonborn um i have wings but you know they're very tiny minor i'm a little i'm kind of little for a dragonborn uh but i've always wanted to fly uh so my tiny queen she was like well you know what you should go out and steal for me an entire flotilla of airships <laughs> it was amazing the best adventure i've ever been on we got invaded by pirates too one of them one of them did crash uh it was uh. it was bad it was really bad lots of fire oh so anyway after that i went to the spa and now i'm here <laughs> oh okay yeah um thank you for answering the summons he takes your your little summons invitation he says uh right back this way uh he stops like right outside uh uh mac dagger's door and then just like goes down the next hallway to to take you to a room uh keeping you separate uh and then uh rebecca well hi there how are you today oh, oh I'm... you got a little you got a little something on your <laughs> oh on oh, your face oh, there. oh thank you from lunch i think mm -hmm. you look much better now okay uh <laughs> hi i've been oh, walking for quite a while i hope you have um beverages here <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, let's see, I was uh, left in charge of guarding some infernal giant demon skeletons. And uh, well, I I was kind of bored. So I started a pie business that's been going very well. Um, people really seem to like the pies. They're a little trepidatious about coming into the chamber of the giant demon skeletons. But, you know, I'd like to think it adds a certain kind of local color. <laughs> anyway, I got the summons and I came right along. Oh, I hope you weren't busy uh, watching the giant skeletons. Oh, no, that's all right. Uh, you know, here and there, I leave a puppet in charge. <laughs> uh, Eli, it leads you to a room also. Uh, the next day, you all are gathered up. Uh, some guards come by and get, collect you up and take you to uh, one of the tall cha chamber tall chambers of the tower uh where the uh the masters of adventure incorporated meet uh and at this uh, as they bring you up into this room it's a long table in the center there's only one person in here he's sort of a uh smarmy looking human uh hair slicked back and he says ah yes welcome welcome i was hoping you would all arrive in time for the summons and it appears you are here in good order he's flipping through pages he's like i don't understand of course i am elder carapath as you may or may not be aware but um there's some strangeness going on here uh, the four of you were requested for a job 
specifically by name, and I'm not sure why, but I'm hoping that maybe you can help me get to the bottom of it. Well, I am a powerful druid, so I understand if people need magic, then, you know, I would probably want be one of those names to call on, because of my, you know, my, my skill and my notoriety, you, you know. I, and I love I, bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of you have... Hey. <laughs> Do any of you have a connection with the Tower of Verai? Mm. <laughs> if you if you want to make a knowledge check, you can uh, regarding the Tower of Verai. All right. This is it gonna be a history? Yeah. I got a fourteen. Nice. I got a twelve. Less nice, but okay. I... I sneezed and pooped myself. <laughs> All right, great. No idea. Uh, that's that <laughs> tracks for Kazra. A seven. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a one. So. Uh, so I, I would say. Don't remember math now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, for uh, Flitz and McDagger, uh, you two remember. Uh, you you know of the Tower of Verai. Uh, it is a uh, tower that is on the uh, eastern coast. Uh, of the or actually off in the ocean off the eastern coast uh and it is uh, run by the a very powerful mage who runs sort of a mage's guild out of the tower uh his name is archimedes silverblade he is somewhat famous uh maybe infamous in his uh sort of the mystery and mystique around him uh there's some uh you know there's always rumors about people who uh, are absconded from their villages uh, and it's uh, usually attributed to the uh, silver blade and his mysterious order uh, not in, and oftentimes you know if you can never actually find anyone who knew the person that got uh, you know whisked away but everyone knows someone got whisked away uh, so uh, you are aware of the tower of Varai. Uh, he says, you were asked for personally by Silverblade. He has asked for the four of you to uh, conduct a meeting in his stead. He wants you to meet with someone and deliver them a message. He says it could be very dangerous. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. I've had one or two run-ins with the tower. Literally with the ship that I've got. <laughs> it's, it was a thing. Um, it's fine. <laughs> Ah, yes, I've heard about the ship. Uh, I think it'll be a very a great help to you in this mission to get you very quickly to where you need to go. So if you can load the four yeah. of you up on the ship and uh, and head out, yeah. that would be great. Uh, does anybody have a napkin? I uh, kept trying to think of that eye place, and I think I got a nosebleed. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. So, oh. Uh, yeah, thank you, bottom lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Barbara. <laughs> they both start with a B. I know it's confusing. Uh, so uh, yes, um, assuming you all accept this mission, that apparently could be quite dangerous to deliver this message. Uh, I'm not sure how or why. He's got a pretty clear location that he needs you to go and deliver this message to. Although the person that you would be delivering it to is apparently a mystery that is part of this. Um, I can assure you that you will each receive a thousand gold for doing this work. Ooh, that's a lot. It's apparently very dangerous. I don't want to deter you, uh, but, you know, just be aware. I am curious why he chose you, and any information you can return to me about this issue when you come back, well, that might be worth some gold as well. Am I stealing things while I'm there? That could be why. I, it does not say so in this contract, but I don't know, hmm. uh, it doesn't say not to either, so I leave that to your discretion. You are I'm stealing things while I'm there, yeah. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Well, I, for one, haven't been out of a cave in months, so I am all in. <laughs> well, I, I just had a oh, question. Um, <clears throat> so, so, I, I, okay, so you said you steal stuff. So, okay, um, that's good. That's, that's good party composition. Um, but does anybody, like, attack things? We need, like, oh, somebody. Oh, me. To, like, I'm very strong. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh. Yeah. 
I think a couple I'm of guns very, on this lady. I am I am really weak. A <laughs> couple of giant is, hammers too. Thank God. All right, please, please make sure that like when things go down, you step in front of me oh, so sure. that I don't get hurt. Of course. <laughs> okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Blitz just looks back and forth between Barb and Kazarok, like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this Goliath, this like eight foot Goliath is like, yeah, just please, please, whatever you do, just you know, I I don't want to get hurt. I'm I'm very frail. So. This makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But uh, frankly, I'm terrified of this lady, so I, it makes sense. Absolutely. What? There's nothing wrong. To, bottom Barb is on our team. All right. So she's yeah. here for us. I hope so. Absolutely. We're friends now. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mr. My hat Dagger. To you, man. Yes. Please, Captain. Don't <laughs> Captain let my purplish hue put you off, okay? Oh, no. Purple is my favorite color. Huh. <laughs> and also gold. So I accept the job. <laughs> thousand gold ain't much to me but uh i am <clears throat> i'll take it i'll take anything at this point um i mean if you need my help i'm happy to to do it yes all right wonderful and again whatever you learn feel free to uh bring back to me as information and i'm happy to pay a little extra on the side yeah, assuming uh, yes. it's worth it all right Enough. when do Very we well. go where are we oh, going yes of course he hands you the contract um the contract okay. says uh, that he is looking for you to uh, meet with him uh, or, or to, to meet with the, uh, the person that he's looking for you to meet, this mystery person, uh, in Federation Bay, which is along the western coast uh, of New Merida, is you know, several days hike from the Brass Palace uh, on foot. It's going to take you maybe close to a week, uh, but it is, uh, you know, near, near-ish. Only a few hours travel for you with your airship. Right. Yeah, the airship. Yep. Yeah. Yep. My my airship, the Sky Dagger. Yep. Uh, very I'm well. an airship, everyone, and it's we mine. Get to, we get to ride on the airship. Yep. I get very motion sick. <laughs> like, is it, is it a ship that's just like full of air? Is it like a balloon ship? It's well, you ain't never seen vomit. nothing like it. I hope there's a room that. where I can vomit. Yeah, there is a vomitorium. Okay. Uh, I made, it, I installed it. It took a lot of effort. Uh, basically, just cut a hole in the wall and just stick your head out. But you know, we like to give it fancy a name, and uh, you can you can bunk up there, bottom barb. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, McDigger, why don't you take us to your airship then? <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Okay. Yeah, I will. He, yes, I will. Uh, what do we sign in blood? You need a kiss. What do you need, sir, to make sure that you, we take this? you have the contract? I, I, I if you fulfill it, then you'll get paid. I don't need you to okay, do anything yeah. else. Easy. And I know that because I've done work for you <laughs> in the past. <laughs> All right. All right. My crew, shall we head to the Sky Digger, my sky ship that I'm definitely the captain of? Hey, hey captain. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hey, hey. All right. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's close enough. Let's go. We walk out the room. All right. You head out of the tower. Uh, where Where are you leading them? Cut scene to an empty bay, and he goes, "Oh no! <laughs> it was right here." Oh my God! Is it invisible? And he's gonna pick up the closest ship. thing it was and right throw here. it. It's gone. And he takes his huh. hat, like, oh darn it! Throws it on the floor and like gently stomps on it because he doesn't want to ruin his hat. <laughs> oh, I'm so peeved. I'm just pick this up. I don't want to ruin it. Well, sorry, gang. We're gonna have to walk. Have you seen Blitz my takes out ship? a small silver whistle and sort of does a little tune on it, and is like, oh, don't worry. <laughs> the whole time, Kazarak's like. Over in the bay, trying to reach. To see if it's <laughs> uh, what? What are, are you calling to something with your silver whistle? Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm calling, to, I'm calling to my crew on the airship. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Uh, so uh, one of the airships uh, uh, that is from uh, that you have <laughs> commandeered uh, for your your queen uh, arrives. Uh, in a, a few minutes it just takes like a few minutes before this ship uh, is on the horizon invisible uh and of course uh you know for you mac dagger it, it's similar very similar it's it's weird how oh. uncannily huh. similar it is well uh, it seems you have a sky ship as well yeah you can um, say that 
yeah i i can i did and it looks <laughs> nice um we're uh we're you know we should probably just head out why don't we just go ahead and why don't we use yours mine's probably i oh i must have put it at the wrong bay but yours is here now so we can just use yours yeah let's do that we'll yeah, use mine okay. yeah <laughs> huh uh, <laughs> the ship touches down and uh, a number of uh, dragonborn, uh, uh, what is the word, the sailors, airship sailors, and uh, uh, a number of small kobolds as well uh, swarm the deck uh, as they, uh, they pour out onto the ground preparing for takeoff. And the four of you can make your way onto the ship. Um, can I do a history check to see if this is literally exactly like my ship? Sure. Uh, actually, give me yeah. an investigation. An investigation? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mick Dagger. That's that 20. <laughs> Mick Dagger, was your ship this cool? Uh, oddly enough, it was almost exactly this cool. <laughs> I'm going to cool. bet if I open that door, that's where we put the Von Motorium. <laughs> uh, so uh, y this is not the Sky Dagger, but... It is certainly one of the 99 ships that was modeled after the Sky Dagger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is absolutely one of those. Okay. I'm going to file that away. And he puts a smile on his face. <laughs> and he nods uh, a lot to everyone, to all of the crew. Howdy. Hello. Uh, it's a few. You're going to want to tie that knot better. Yep. It, it's prone to. Hey, what do I know? <laughs> anyways uh it's a few short hours uh in the air um Ooh. sky <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god uh captain captain is there uh wait other captain uh wait i don't yes you what? whoever owns this what? Is, the, is there a, yes. is there a vomitorium on yes. this one as well oh yeah absolutely yeah absolutely. my head's already in it kaz do you want to join me Oh, oh no! I was just about to punch a hole in the wall to help. Uh -huh. oh, don't, don't do that. Uh -huh. Don't do, uh -huh. don't do that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He punches a hole in the wall and then shoves his head through it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. This one isn't my shit. <laughs> huh. uh, That's fine. I'll fix it. <laughs> uh, you, the the airship touches down just outside Federation Bay. Uh, Federation Bay is a moderately sized shipping town. Uh, there are, um, several buildings here, things that pretty much anything you could want from a town is available here in Federation Bay. And they are, uh, you know, they're, they're it's bustling. They're opening. There's been a lot of rumors coming from the South, uh, down toward the, uh, the mug of uh, the, um, Carapath area that uh, th or there have been rumors of a lot of demonic activity, but Federation Bay seems largely untouched by that. Uh, so you get your uh, location from the, the contract, it tells you of a tavern that you're supposed to meet this contact in uh, and deliver the second part of this, which is a sealed scroll. And the scroll is supposed to remain sealed according to the contract, uh, and it is in your hands now. Say, uh, uh, Kakarak, uh, do you, you said you're magical, right? <laughs> what? Who's, who's, who's Kakarak? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I mispronounce it? I have an accent. Oh, you're talking to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, it's Kazarak. Yeah. Or Kazarak, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So uh, I, I thought there may have been somebody, like, I thought today was just the day of, like, things that were similar like you, the, the ship was like your sure, ship yeah. i thought oh, there was someone that had a name like my name i was like whoa <laughs> anyways but yeah i am yeah. magical yes. i'm wondering yeah i'm wondering if you could just kind of pop this scroll open and we see what it is and you just magically reseal it oh yeah yeah sure I'm yeah okay I'm yeah sure why don't you go that. ahead yeah <laughs> yeah okay um <laughs> So I got, he just pops it open, <laughs> unravels it. Uh, yeah, you break the wax seal and uh, <laughs> unroll the scroll. <laughs> Anthony's uh, like, come on. <laughs> uh, the scroll is blank. <gasps> it was a trap all along. 
Maybe it's written in invisible ink. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you got to get it wet. Right? Mm. Or hot. Or hot. Or hot and Let's, wet. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Let's make some tea. Oh. And dunk it in. Well, that's perfect. I have some pie to go with it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, so we so dunk I it guess... in hot tea. All right, yeah, you dip the paper into hot pie. tea. Uh, nothing changes on the paper. It's still blank, except now it's oh. wet and stained. <laughs> well done. Well, hmm. he rolls it back up. Probably going to know we did this, right? <laughs> no. No, no. No, we can me. say that we were, we were walking and in this moderate and bustling um, city bay, yep. and we, we tripped. And there was a large barrel of tea outside of the tea shop, and it As fell in, and it melted the, the wax, and then it <laughs> opened, and we didn't look at it. Well, I mean, hold on. I can give me a second. I can, I can, I can, I can mend the wax. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I, I learned this, so that, I can do that. Hold on. Okay. And he's gonna, he's gonna grab. Uh, he's just gonna grab like three of the uh, focuses, and he's gonna go. All right, all right. I know how to do this. Um, <clears throat> Uh, let's see. What do I need to? Hold on, I'm gonna look up if there's any components that go with this. <laughs> to mend, I think it's a cantrip, so I don't think yeah. there are. <laughs> no, there are material components. Oh see. boy, <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It says VSM, but it's not telling me. Two lodestones. So okay, a couple of magnets. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna do that. He's gonna pull those out of his out of this really just big ass. It's like a backpack on his hip. It's the world's biggest <laughs> fanny pack full of components. <laughs> and he's just going to dig around in there for a bit and then pull out these uh, these magnets. And he's going to be like, all right, all right, stand back, guys. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got this. And he's going to set it on the table and he's just going to uh, uh, rewind, you, and complete. Rewind, you, complete. Oh. Uh, Ah. Uh, nothing happens. Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Re rewind complete and uh, uh, hold. Rewind complete. Hold. Uh, mm, mm, ah. uh. Well, my headache went away. Maybe it worked on me. <laughs> 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 yeah, that might have been a healing spell. No. Oh my God. Oh. That means I got to hold it. And he whips out a little notebook and starts writing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if the spell isn't going to work, I think, Barb, I think you're onto something. We tripped into a barrel of tea. Happens to everyone. All the time. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. a absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you, you got some pie. Maybe we just kind of rub it in the pie and be like, there was pie next to the barrel and it fell. Oh, when we got out of the barrel, we tripped right. into the pie. Yes. And yeah, there was maybe. a rake that we stepped on, and it hit us in the face as well. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I was. I was just going to punch say me that in the face. I'll me. take the hit. It's fine. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so sorry. I'm I was so sorry. Say, no, that's going to say uh, Kazarak does it too. So oh, he God. just takes. So oh. he takes one from <laughs> each of them. Just way well. well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Captain? It's fine. No, it's good. We're good. He's good. Okay. The okay. captain is always, he stays with the ship oh, until it goes but down. But you left the ship. Oh, metaphorical ship. Oh, life is a mean. ship. Yeah, because you have a metaphorical ship, right? Oh, what was that? I'm sorry. I have a Nothing. ring in my head. <laughs> I think my ears are bleeding. Oh. You want All me right. to try and do a he that healing spell? <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> All right. So he's going to take the magnets and put them on him <laughs> and just go rewind, complete, uh, uh, fix, rewind, complete, fix. And just like hold his hands against his, like, the, his massive hands that like overlap his head and just be like, oh, just like giant. <laughs> <laughs> just shaking you. Yes, this doesn't. Yes, yeah. I'm feeling. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. I tell you what, uh -huh. that was an experience. Yeah, healing in go. some See? ways. So, All right. <laughs> anyways, I think we figured this out. First puzzle solved, everyone. Uh, it's a trap. 
Mm-mm. It's got to be. <laughs> it's got to be a trap, yeah. Mm-hmm. But now we know. We're on already. So let's head on into wherever we were supposed to go about 20 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> All right. Onward. Uh, uh, you head into the tavern. It's the middle of the day. So there's one guy at the bar who's already very drunk. Um, looks like maybe he's in his traditional spot. Uh, and there's another person at the back in a heavy, a dark, heavy cloak, uh, sitting at a table alone. That is a table for, uh, six, uh, and they are, uh, shut off from the rest of the room. He looks right. lonely. We should go sit with him. I agree. Oh, mm, okay. Do you think? And I, I walk up to the guy at the bar who's drunk and I sit <laughs> next to him. <clears throat> and I just slide the scroll across the bar. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of wavers around a little bit as he looks down. He says, well, what's that supposed to be? Wink. <laughs> Next one's on me. And I put down nothing. I, I don't have any money. You're you're very you're very sweet. You're a cute man, but I'm I'm okay. Alright. I don't I don't I have a wife. Good. Congratulations. Our job's done. <laughs> See you later. I forgot the contract already, actually. Now that I think about it, <laughs> what we were supposed to do. I walk back to the group. All right. <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> I, I don't get all that code. That was that was amazing. Like It was almost like you guys weren't talking about anything at all. That was... Well, that's, you know, that's part of the, it's part of the mission. That's amazing. That's amazing. You gotta, you gotta teach me that sometime. <laughs> okay. You teach me your magic, I'll teach you that. Uh, oof. I don't know. I mean, I can try. Magic's not for everyone. You kind of have to, like, be Obviously, born yeah. with the ability mm-hmm. to do it like I was. So <laughs> Yeah, totally. <laughs> Uh, While they're the- talking about it, Flitz takes the scroll back down off the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the the drunk guy's like, "Hey, that's that's mine." Uh, it's just, not. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It goes back to drinking. Uh, okay, so Flitz, you have the the scroll now. <laughs> Can I do an investigation or something to see if I know who this dark stranger is in the corner? Sure. Give me an investigation check. That is a 16. Okay. Uh, yeah, the cloak uh, covers a lot of the figure, but there are bits poking out uh, from the edges of the cloak uh, around like the neckline and the, the hem. Uh, that you can see uh, beneath it what appears to be long silver and purple robes. Okay, okay. Those are colors you would traditionally associate with the uh, the Silver Blade Order from the Tower of Varai. Guys, I, I think this is our guy. I think Barb was more right, so we should attempt an intro. Okay. Barb goes right over to the hood man and she says, hello, um, I noticed that you were sitting all by yourself and not that there's anything wrong with that, you know, <laughs> date yourself. But um, since we're here, I thought that maybe we could join you. Would that be amenable? Uh, the uh, figure pulls back the hood of the uh, cloak and uh, it appears to be a human man, a little bit older. He's wearing a silver mask over his face uh, that sh- sort of shines uh, brightly. Uh, and he says, I was hoping you would be here soon. I've been waiting. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry we're late. We tripped into a barrel of tea. <laughs> uh, oh? I walked into a rake. Yeah, it's true. It was, it was pretty funny. Well, yeah. Punch someone. No, no. Um, break. Uh, give me a, a deception check. Somebody from this group give me a deception <laughs> check. I got it. Great. Are you sure? That's a 15. All right, great. I mean, I punched someone. I didn't say who. <laughs> I believe you have a message for me. Mm, mm Mm-hmm. Yes. Don't get mad. (laughs) 
when we fell into the barrel of tea and tripped over the rake, it did come open. Aha. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I trust you didn't read anything that was uh, not yours to read. No, 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 we would never do something like that. Nope. Put it. It was blank. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> He uh, puts a hand to his head and he says, Okay, I have called you here under false pretenses, so it is only fair that we have a proper discussion about this. My name is Archimedes Silverblade, and as you can tell, uh, I am the person who I have hired to have you come and speak with me. So you hired you to speak with me, to speak with us, to speak with you? What? Did you I'm put not the money interested. from one hand oh. into the other hand? Or did you never take the coming. money out at all? Yeah. <laughs> I am not interested in the message that you carry, as, as you have undoubtedly surmised. Oh, thank you. Okay. Not- <laughs> oh. Flitz tucks the scroll away into her bag. Good. Good. <laughs> I am much more interested in our ability to have a conversation outside of the traditional systems at play. There are people within Moving your organization. Moving telepathy? Uh, Barb he, puts her face right on the guy's face <laughs> and just starts to hum. Mm. Uh, in your mind, Barb, you hear, please don't do that. Uh, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that it. I did it! I did it! Wow, you know magic. You're, you're oh. the fighter and you know magic? Oh my God. I mean, I didn't Funny. think so, but oh. life is about growth. It's amazing. Wow. I needed to get a hold of a group of adventurers who I thought might be up to a certain task outside of the prying ears and eyes of some of the leadership at Adventure Incorporated. Hmm. Hmm. I understand. Yeah. You see, recently I had, um, we'll call it a, a scientific understanding, a breakthrough of an artifact of mine that is unfortunately out of commission, though there is much that I think could still be done with it. And I need some objects to help me bring this back to power. Unfortunately, the objects are things I don't have and things I cannot be caught acquiring. If you are interested, I would send you after one of these things, and I think... uh, you can name your price for gold, and I should be able to accommodate it. Seven. Seven it is. No, no. Ka- Kazarok, calm down. What? <laughs> no. Oh, all of it. Isn't that, isn't that haggling? We, like, start there and then go up? No, you start high. They start low. You meet in the middle. Oh. Mi- oh, yeah. I'm sorry. But um, now. Um, uh. Try again. You can do it. I may also offer, I may be able to offer you something beyond gold, if that is your interest. And this well. man said he wanted information. Uh, He's not we... here. Why are you looking at me like that? He was greasy. I mean, objectively. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, his, he needed a bath, okay? If I... I didn't, I didn't want to say anything. If I, I can know. guess the greasy man you're speaking of, he might be the one I'd prefer you didn't give information to. Uh, oh. But perhaps we can make a deal outside of that. Something else. Uh, th- if there is anything I can do for you, perhaps we can make an exchange of favors rather than uh, money. Though I am also hmm. willing to part with gold. What kind yeah, I of want the gold. are we talking about? I have a very influential network. I have power at my disposal. If there are things in this world that you want, things that are outside of your reach... Well, they may Flitz not gets be very to... close, gets very close to Archibald and is like, look, McDagger's going to ask for like his ships back and you're going to have to say no. <laughs> Got it? Uh, I see some difficulties have arisen, I find. I think I can handle that. Nice. Well, I'll do it on one condition. <laughs> I want my ships back. (laughs) (laughs) Your ships back. Yes. I stole the first one fair and square 
by going on a mission and then not completing it and taking the treasure for myself like any good <laughs> sky captain would and then some hooligan done stole all of them from me and it's it's despicable i tell you and i just like if i could just have my one ship back the actual sky digger which by the way the silver slower swords or whatever it is that you know it's kind of like I, I feel like i was the sky diggers first and your thing is a little similar so maybe my second favor is for you to change your name so i could be kind of like the singular dangerous blade out in the world well know? we are we are the um, my last name is silver blade i can't that's my last really... name's Dagger. So what? <laughs> we're still here. We're still at the same place that we were before you said that. So my organization is called the Silver Mask. So uh, maybe. Oh, that's... so it's just you. So it's actually real easy. You change your name. Uh, I get to do the knife thing, and uh, it's all good. I get my ships back. You get your artifact, and uh, I will make you this deal, deal uh, Captain Dagger. It, it, it turns out that the the design of the ship that you are speaking of is one that has recently become very familiar to me. Uh, and I believe that I can begin creating several like them with maybe some advanced upgrades incorporated into them. What folder? <laughs> <laughs> I steal my drinks all the time. <laughs> right into the arcane core all the time. <laughs> I am going to need experienced captains who have the wherewithal to handle the airways if that's something you think you might be interested in a job perhaps you're a command of a ship of your own well i might be able to make that happen it's very tempting but i have to say i was already in command of an entire fleet of 100 so it's like not that impressive but to be called Captain McDagger. What was my name? Mick McDagger. <laughs> Silverblade. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I Captain want... Silverblade. Piercing the skies. You got yourself a deal. I get your last name and a ship, then we're good. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about the details uh, down the line. I have but... a problem with all this. Because okay. you said you would provide us with something out of our reach. And I have walked around this entire building, and I can reach everything. <laughs> there isn't anything out of my reach. You what if I could? Better than that. What if I could unlock the potential within you? Oh. Mm, what if I could? That unlock sounds awfully MLMy. <laughs> what is that? A food? Oh no, no. You tell two people, and then they tell two people, and then they tell two people, and then you all owe everyone money, and nobody knows who all the money goes to. Who does the money go to? I don't know who the money goes to. Anyway, and don't I'm get me you, started on this. I'm telling you, Kazarok, it could be you <sighs> that the money goes to. Uh, I can... <laughs> go on. Uh -huh. uh, I, I could I provide to you an opportunity to touch mm. the arcane. In a way that mm. I see you are attempting to access there. Perhaps mm. I could open up that power to you. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I can sense within you a well of great strength. Mm. Something that lies dormant in your soul. Yes. It's, it's, there, there is a really, really impressive power deep within me. <laughs> I, can, I can feel it. I, uh, I, I know it to be true. So... I do not know where you picked up this passenger of yours, but perhaps we can utilize its power to, gain, to grant you strength. Uh, well, I mean, I can, I can easily tell you that. We were summoned into the castle place building for Adventures Inc. Corporated, and these passengers, which is just the captain and, the, and bottom barb and uh, <laughs> little thief person, they just, you know, they 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 were there with me. We're we're a group. We're part of it. That's, I mean, I don't I don't know if I want to like absorb any of them for power because I kind of like them. I'll make it more simple for you. Okay. I can grant you the ability to touch magic powers beyond your understanding. Ooh. Touching. I mean. <laughs> I mean, if we're, if we're being honest here, uh, 
I don't know if that'll really work because I got kicked out of the last academy for touching too much magic. <laughs> um, so I don't I don't know. That's always just ended bad for me. If I can like reverse touch it like out at people, then yeah. Yes, I will teach you to reverse touch it. Okay. That that we can do. Yeah. I'm down for it. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> Uh, he turns to you. What, what, Barb, what can I do for you? Oh, um, well, I really just like to go on vacation. <laughs> you know, I, I have to guard this demon cave, you know, all day. And the pie business is, is wonderful. But, you know, you, you turn your hobby into a business and then you have two businesses. So it's just, I'm so busy. And I really need some me time. I'll tell you what. You succeed at this mission. I will take the guarding of the skeletal demons off your plate forever. Really open you up to expand your pie business and take whatever vacations you wish. Well, well, no. Okay, that's very tempting. So right away, I don't trust it. Um, why, why should I trust you? with guarding the sacred demon cave that could end all of life everywhere. I mean, you know, that's a pretty big deal. I'm just hoping I can find things to provide you for the help that I need from you. I'm just trying to find things that will be in kind, as valuable to you as I think you can be to me. I'm so appreciative that you've come and are willing to help me, that I will do whatever I can to help you. Okay, take your mask off. He removes the mask and he places it uh, at his side. You're um, a cutie! You're a cutie! <laughs> oh, never mind, I'm sold. Okay. <laughs> uh, he looks to you, he, he sort of narrows his eyes uh, at you, Flitz. He says, gold is still on the table. If that's the, uh, the only thing that uh, uh, you want. But if not, I'm also willing to make a deal with you if there's something you think you might want. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, no, I'll just take the gold because I pretty much have everything I want. Yeah. <laughs> he nods. Uh, he says, I read that as I suspected then. Uh, <laughs> he says, very well. I will... Now speak to you of this mission. That is, it is vital to me that you do this, that you are able to carry this out. The item that I am asking you to acquire is one that is ethically difficult, but one that I need quite a bit. That's why I cannot acquire it myself. Now, thankfully, the people who currently have it are not good people. And for you to take it from them, well, it won't really turn any heads for you to have this thing what i need is the horn of a unicorn the last pure horn that has been found this horn <laughs> anthony you son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> now the unicorn is long dead <laughs> don't worry about that oh, <laughs> oh man <laughs> The horn. Oh, All right. <laughs> uh, the horn. They have extreme magical properties, ones that only seem to mature with time separated from their host. And so I would have you acquire this thing. But it has been taken. Taken by creatures that some of you may have some connection with though this group is not one that you're going to want to deal with. There are kobolds. Many of you may have seen some of the orders of kobolds that have sprung up. This one calls themselves the Tattered Wing. The Tattered Wing is a dangerous sect filled with mages. The mages will find a use for the horn, and they will consume it. And in doing so, I fear what kind of magic they might unleash upon the world. Horny magic. Perhaps. Mm. Perhaps. True. <laughs> Almost <serious>. certainly. In... <laughs> I am intrigued now. 
Wait, how do you... Is there a way for me to learn that? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. <clears throat> Perhaps. Oh. Seek out the tattered one. Deal with them however you choose to, but bring me the horn. Bring me the horn, and I will make your desires come true. Yeah, all right. I mean, I'm good. You guys good? Yeah. Yeah? Sounds good. Easy peasy. The Do you need the skull? Is there a skull with this? Like, if there's a really cool skull, can I have that too and the money? Whatever you find within the layer of the tattered wing is yours to take. Nice. Whatever lives are lost, that is their problem, and not I, something I am concerned with. The this organization okay. is dangerous, and so do with them what you will, but bring me the horn. Guys, right, let's do it. And he rushes Deal. outside. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell him hey where you. to go. And you hear just some fighting outside, and you hear, you hear a... <laughs> and he comes back in. And he... Oh my god! He comes back in with a bull's head, and he's like, "I got the horn. Mission accomplished." Oh. Yes. Wow. That's very good, but we need a different one. You keep that one. Yeah, you. We'll get a different that. one. Yeah. You're probably going to have to compensate those farmers. Probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, after compensating the farmers and heading out of town, <laughs> uh, the four of you are directed northward uh, around the outskirts of Verena uh, toward a river, uh, River's Edge, the Starlight River, which runs across the... Uh, continent of Numerita. Uh, toward the edges of the forests there uh, is where these, this group is supposed to have made its hideout. Uh, and indeed, it takes you a, a couple hours of searching around at the edges of the river, uh, but before long you found, find what looks like a small fortress that has been, we'll say, ramshackled together uh, that stretches over the top of the river um, the water rushes down underneath the fortress and out through the other side. Uh, and it's, you know, pretty big uh, for a, a little, you know, cobbled together building. But it, you can see, like, none of the wood is in, like, matches. It was really, really cobbled together. But, uh, yeah, you find what, what appears to be, you can tell from the large uh, wings that have been drawn onto the side of the building uh, with the edges, the bottoms of the wings all torn up that this is probably the place you're looking for. Now, there it's are a couple... Or did we take the, the airship out there, or did we travel by foot? <laughs> that's up to... Uh, I guess that's up to Flitz. <laughs> All uh, I'm saying yeah. is we should probably land the ship you know, for, you know, far enough away that we can sneak up on it. Yeah, Indeed. I think that's probably... Yeah. I, I think we can agree. If you took the ship, that at least you're far enough away for that. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Cool. It does. Uh, nice ship, by the way. It's a wonderful ship. <laughs> it's it's mm. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd it's called the Tiny it? Queen. The Tiny Queen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does look kind of small. Um, I remember my ships were just. Whew, they were. They were huge. Yeah. Sky were they? We were they? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I, I. I think. Yeah. Like. Whoa. You know. But anyways, I'm getting new ships, and I'm very excited about it. Good. So what's the plan, gang? Everybody give me perception checks if you're looking out toward the uh, the fortress. I, I would say, like, is this right after we get off the ship? <laughs> uh, no, uh, you had to do a little bit of searching through the woods. Okay, because so. I was about to say, I, I would I would assume Kazarak and Barb are just, like, in a bush. Just, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just after that phase, I think. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I rolled so, an 18. Perception check. Great. I also got an 18. Great. I got a 15. Gal okay. has... I got a 16. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Flitz and Barbara, for the two of you, you look over at this uh, fortress. Uh, you can see that there are kobolds uh, outside the <laughs> building, uh, walking around on the outside, sort of guarding the place. There are a couple on the top on parapets 
uh and the whole thing looks like it probably could be uh you know about the size of a city block like there are there's quite a good space inside this uh this little fortress they've built up and the walls are pretty high you think you'd probably have a hard time scaling them you'd have to go in through the front door or you know you could loop around to see if there's other ways in hmm. they're how tall again uh probably like uh 15 foot walls okay so uh i don't know if this will work but uh uh flitz i can throw you over that wall Ooh, I mm, tiny wings don't work. Can't fly, gonna fall. I can still throw you though. <laughs> you can throw me if you want. Okay, and he's gonna yeah, grab throw him. The dagger. <laughs> I assume you guys are pretty far away because <laughs> you yes. wanted to, to have the option to sneak <laughs> yeah. up. Okay. So can I launch him? Yeah, you can toss toss him. Uh, sure. he's willing, he's willing subject. So just go ahead and give me a strength check to tossing McDagger. Oh, wait, oh, there we go. I'm going to spread my coat out midair and I'll catch mm -hmm. the air and soften the fall. <laughs> okay. I'll kind of um, glide in like a, like a flying squirrel. So, uh, as he goes to throw McDagger, he is going to... <laughs> It He's was not going to I could tell by your face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally in that yeah. 20. Um, <laughs> he gets like gets a good spin on to launch him and forgot there was a little bit of throw up still on his hand and <laughs> kind of just like <laughs> McDagger slips out of his hand and just like hits the dirt and just starts rolling. Yeah. Like he just like threw like a, a, a you know, he put a lot of power into it. But he slipped out early and just hit the ground and started rolling. Yeah, you, you roll I 12 rolled feet. You, yeah, you <laughs> roll 12 feet, McDagger. <laughs> sorry, 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 it slipped. I, my, I'm, see, from Barb and the throw up, and I'm, my bad. You okay? This is the best of us. Dagger, are you okay? Are you dead? Yeah. <clears throat> All okay. clear. Oh, thank God he's not. Come on over. I think oh. he's dirty enough. I don't think they'll see him. Oh, <laughs> camouflage. True. Okay, that's I can't take offense to that. Yep, smart. It was on purpose. Okay, but wait, wait. We were just gonna throw dagger in there. What's our plan once we get inside? Oh, I was just excited to see dagger create a ruckus. We were all excited <laughs> to see dagger create a ruckus. Obviously, a ruckus is still on the menu, but you know, <laughs> where are we where do we look first? You want me to try it again? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> No. Should we try going up through the river, maybe? Ooh, maybe there's a, a cave or a dock. Yeah. There's a problem. Um, I can't I can't swim. Ooh. Oh, that is bad. Yeah. And I don't think we can pull you. I'm not that heavy. <laughs> no. I, <laughs> it's the current. We're going up the yeah. it's not that. I'm sorry. Do you think you could find a log to hold on to, Kaz? Uh, are there or... any trees nearby? Yeah. He's going to go and uh, just hack at a tree with his axe. Oh, yeah. You you fell that tree. <laughs> I found one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay. okay. Everyone in the tub. <laughs> so, so you drag the tree uh, a little ways upriver. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, so I guess the, the four of you are going to jump into the water, hold on to the log, and try to, like, float into the city through the, uh, by the river that travels underneath? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Into the fortress. Okay, great. Uh, so you all jump into the river, you all uh, latch on, and uh, down this river you go. The, it's pretty fast, the flow through the river. Um, and before long, you're approaching the... Uh, the fortress i'm gonna need like uh i guess a stealth check i got it everyone okay. <laughs> everyone be quiet okay we gotta sneak in to the <laughs> fortress did you hear me over the rapids it's a quiet time you got a natural one perfect Dang it. i got 10. a 26 <laughs> So how are we approaching this again? We're just like going down the river and then hopping out right at the. Yeah, because the fortress is built over the river. 
Um, so uh, currently your plan, it seems, is to go underneath where the fortress, like find out what's inside uh, as mm-hmm. you travel on the river and maybe hop out in there or do whatever it is you need to do. Uh, I think maybe call an audible when you see what the inside of the fortress looks like is what it sounds like to me. Okay, Kazarat <laughs> completely disappears. <laughs> you, everyone loses sight of Kazarat. All right, yeah. I think Kazarak and um, uh, Flitz apparently just like duck below the water level as they're he floating slipped. in. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a I got a nat twenty on the stealth check, so I was nice. more stealthy accidentally. <clears throat> well, what about you, Barb? Oh, I only got an eight. Sorry. Okay, so you're just hanging out on top of the log, and McDagger's yelling at everyone <laughs> from on top of the log, <laughs> waving his arms. Uh, <laughs> oh, what a loser. <laughs> Stay quiet. As you approach the city, or the, the fortress, uh, one of the kobolds up on the parapet sees you. Uh, he's standing guard. And he starts to chitter and fire off, he waves his hands in front of him, spells forming in his hands, and he fires down a spell at you. So, uh, let's see. McDagger, that's a hit. As this bolt of force energy comes uh, cascading down towards you. And it hits you for 10 damage. Oh. It was a big, he's just like, sniped you. Ow! But he know. However, the rapid the river is moving quickly, and while he has sniped you from afar, you go right underneath this uh, fortress. Can I and... shoot at him first? I got yeah. crossbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can fire back a crossbow bolt. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. And that's uh, uh, eight damage. Okay. Hey. Stop that! You fire, you fire your crossbow. The bolt sails upward, strikes him in the chest, and he wobbles a bit and flops forward, falling down onto your log just as you're passing underneath toward the uh, uh, the underneath of this fortress. So he's now just like dead on the log in front of you uh, as you pass underneath. Do you have any items or gold? <laughs> give me, give me an investigation check. <laughs> So you play D and D, right? <laughs> uh, hot and cold these dice. Uh, investigation nineteen. All right. Uh, you pick a. You like pick through his pockets real quick. Uh, he's got a small pouch with uh, forty silver in it, and he's got a, a wand with a. It's a blue tipped crystal, a blue crystal at its tip, a bit a little bit of like a uh, you know cut into several facets, and then it's a little gnarled stick. That's uh, the crystal is embedded into. Look at that, Barb. Look at that. That's amazing. Good are, job. Are you ma- yeah, are you magical in any way? Oh, not very. Okay, well, I'll hold on to this unless you want. Oh, I'll give it to, to Kazarak. He, he'll, he'll be able to know what this is. Okay, I'll hold on to this. Uh, as you, you want, pass. We... That's not a unicorn, is it? No? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I push it off the log. <laughs> uh it splashes down into the water uh it, it runs over you flits you just watch the corpse uh flow over you as you are pu- still holding your breath underwater uh but now you guys are inside the fortress um there's a little bit of a tunnel here as you travel underneath a building and then it opens up into the center square of this uh fortress and you are now just like fully visible to a whole bunch of kobolds walking around here in this fortress like they're you're in the heart of the the beast here uh quick count you see 20 kobolds happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday hey, to you. you yeah yep happy, happy birthday, birthday dear, dear. <laughs> Are you guys happy good? Happy birthday to you and many uh, more. Are, are you, you. going to keep riding right back out of the fortress or are you going to hop off out here uh, in inside the fortress? If you want to look around a little more, we can do a quick perception check. See what else you guys pick up in the space. 
Uh, but it's got a quick look because you're traveling fast. Yeah, we'll look. I mean, I would like to do a perception check. Um, Please. Investigation check. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, perception. Um, bu- 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 uh, 18. Now, I'm looking for something specifically. How how did they like the performance? <laughs> Uh, you would say that you, uh, your, your, your perception check is real focused on all of their faces. Um, mm-hmm. With an 18, most people look real shocked. Uh, they weren't, they're surprised, most of these kobolds. Um, you've never really seen a kobold surprise face before, uh, nor have you really seen a kobold disgust face or appreciative face, but you're pretty sure this is the surprised one. Like, if you were to guess looking at them, that's where you'd probably wind up. Um you do think that maybe you saw some cobalt annoyed faces on the ship. So this is, you've mm. got a pretty good sense of what this one might be. You also happen to notice that there uh, seems to be almost like a little village in here that you, a lot of these faces are in. Like you, you can see a marketplace to one side of the river. Uh, and that's where a lot of the cobalts that are uh, shocked are standing. Anyone else have a good perception check they want to check on? Oh, I got a uh, I, I, a twenty one. I, I was gonna ask, do I roll one, or am I still underwater? No, I think you have to breathe. So I think you're probably back up out of the water <laughs> once you got. Uh, <laughs> uh, twenty one. So uh, you glance around quickly, Barb, and you see a couple of things here. One, you see the, a lot of the same stuff that McDagger saw, sort of the village that's here. Uh, you also see what looks to be a massive uh building to one side that takes up most of the the fortress uh that has like a golden uh curtain of like metals like metallic tendrils that cover up the doorway to this uh larger chamber that is the full height of this place and several like maybe a quarter of the whole uh structure Okay, guys, I think we should go for the golden thing. Yeah, I follow your lead. We really okay. got him with the performance. I think we can, I think we can talk our way stuck. in. We're going we're gonna to make for it right now. You got pies, right? What golden yeah. thing? I don't, I don't see a golden thing because I, I rolled a five <clears throat> on my perception. Just follow me, okay? Uh, here, I'm going to hold your hand. You're going to run right after me. Let's go. Oh, okay. All right. Remember, just before the uh, just before the log protect passes bo- like out of the uh, the structure and back down the river, you four jump off on the side of the large golden doored structure. Uh, there are a lot of cobalts between you and this structure, and I think that what we're probably going to do here is almost like um, a running challenge. So uh, there are more cobalts than you could possibly deal with uh in any sort of reasonable way and they are all preparing to strike against you so what i'm going to have you do is you will always be presumed to be in combat with a kobold uh you can strike at or damage kobolds in whatever way you want the more kobolds you deal with as you get toward this uh area the less kobold backlash you have to deal with as you're dodging spells on your way in so we'll go start with you guys each of you may take a round uh attacking with whatever means you wish to attack the kobolds uh and we will uh resolve their actions afterwards so go ahead no we don't like we're we're okay to just kind of wipe them out right we've got anyone got any like qualms with that i have Unless several qualms but Okay. I mean, do you want to try the birthday thing first? I I don't think that worked the last time. Um, they're none of my cousins. Let's kill these fuckers. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. High five. High five. High five. Okay. okay. I uh, yeah. take out um, uh, one of the three sticks of dynamite that I have, and I light it, and I chuck it at the crowd. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to give them a deck saving throw. Okay. Uh, almost no one gets out of the way. So, okay. uh, <laughs> I, what, do you have a do you have a number for what dynamite does, or you want me to just roll some stuff? Uh, no. I was thinking you'd shoot it down. So I that's I wasn't thinking I'd get this far. So I'm really <laughs> happy that we went with this because uh, there's no precedent for me having dynamite. So uh, I think it's a D. 
14 D12, I think. 14 um, D12. But I could be right. <laughs> Whatever you want. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. So but you I did toss say this... I had three and you didn't say no. So now I still have two. <laughs> yep. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you toss this dynamite over into the crowd in front of you, uh, and it explodes and a bunch of cobalt corpses go flying, uh, from this place as you just, uh, leave a small crater in the ground next to the river, uh, where you have blasted, uh, with the dynamite. <laughs> who's, who's else has, uh, options here, uh, as your ears are ringing and the air is filled with smoke. Uh, I would like to cast a spell of darkness. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You know, maybe cause some confusion. Where would you like to cast it? So the way that I picture this, there's a river running down the center of this fortress. Uh, You guys are in the, we'll say the, uh, if you picture it like a grid, you are in the southeast quadrant. There are a lot of kobolds over here, uh, but you need to move through this quadrant to get to the northeast quadrant, where, which is where you're headed. On the other side of the river, there are two quadrants that are filled with kobolds also, and they are ready to start casting spells at you too. I assume that McDagger threw the dynamite in your own quadrant to try and clear the path a little bit. So, Barb, it'll be up to you where you want to cast the darkness. There's also the whole periphery of the building, which has... Uh, kobolds up above ready to cast down at you also that's a lot that's a lot going on (laughs) Uh, i think i'm going to cast around the building if we can get there as quick as possible then we have an easier way in okay Perfect. So yeah, you cast it right at the entrance of the building. So basically, while this spell is maintained, you will have one fewer round that you will have to do in order to get to the building. So if the spell drops, you'll have to do the extra round. If not, you'll get there one round sooner. That's cool. Do I hit something now or is that it? That's it. That's it for your turn. Great. So guys, don't worry. I know what I can do. Um, <clears throat> we need a safe word, though. What's the safe word going to be? Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple. Okay. I'm going to transform into one of them and see if I can get information that way. So you guys keep going, and I'll try and infiltrate everything and see what I can find out. All right? All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Stealth <clears throat> is probably our best option at this point. Good call. He- yeah. He digs in his little his backpack fanny pack, um, and pulls out this jade circlet. Looks really fancy, and he's like, mm, mm, "Okay, I got this. I got this." Oh, oh, oh. Reverse. I'm one of them now. <laughs> All right, guys, guys. It's me. It's me. Um, keep going. And I'll I'll try and I'll act like I'm one of them and try and see what I can find. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Goliath with a circlet on just runs for it. Okay. <laughs> Hello, brothers and sisters. I am a kobold as well, fellow kobold, and these stupid intruders, right? Let's make kill them. a <laughs> Make a deception check at disadvantage. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Um, Let's see. Oh, my God. That is a seven. (laughs) I gave them an insight at advantage against your deception at Mm -hmm. disadvantage. They rolled a three and a four. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, they (laughs) look at each other and they look at you and one of the kobolds nods and starts chittering at you in uh, his kobold language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Makes a stabbing motion with the, with the, uh, uh, his spear. Scott from accounting did that. (laughs) <laughs> oh, we can't let that slide. No, hell no. All right. First, 
Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. On your birthday, too. That's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> let's kill these guys first, and then we'll take care of that asshole from accounting. All right? <laughs> so, we'll so stab. Are you going to turn on your party? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to go, ah, oh, kill the intruders. <laughs> <laughs> great uh flitz what are when you doing you this round pineapple i'm confused because <laughs> i feel very threatened right now <laughs> uh flitz what are you doing flitz has already started running past doing like flippy acrobatic tricks and just like stabs one right in the face with a dagger <laughs> okay perfect give me an attack roll uh it's an 18 yeah uh, you, uh, don't even worry about damage. Uh, you just jam the dagger out and slam it right into the face of one as you're like flipping over it. Uh, as the apparently competent fighter of the team, you are just <laughs> slicing your way through. <laughs> uh, okay. So spells begin to pour in around you. Uh, so what I need from everybody is dexterity saving throws as you dodge the spells, uh, blasting at you. Do I need a dexterity saving throw? <laughs> yeah, even you should make a dex saving throw. You've, <laughs> you've convinced the two near you, uh, but you haven't convinced it's only two. everyone. Oh, I imagine this giant crowd just like coming around. Yeah, there's like, like eight oh, of them yeah, around right? me. I'm like, like, but the other like 40 in the background are like, kill that guy. They're like, what yeah, the what fuck? Kill him. What? <laughs> <laughs> but these two so are like, wait. no, he's with us. <laughs> <laughs> you said a dexterity saving throw, right? Yes. Okay. I got a 21. Dirty 20. I get advantage on those, and I get a whole ass 10. 11. Okay. Uh, so everyone takes four damage uh, from spells exploding around you. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are blasts of fire, bolts of lightning, uh, sheets of ice forming all around as these spells are being cast and flung at you. Uh, bolts of arcane energy slam into the ground around your feet. For the most part, you guys do a good job dodging them, but there's just so much happening here. Uh, it looks like a high-budget CGI summer movie uh, <laughs> as these explosions happen all around you. And, uh, yeah, you uh, you know, flashes of color. Uh, you, you manage to take a little bit of damage but avoid most of the blows. And it's back to you guys to make another charge toward this building. Can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. If I'm willing to take more damage if it requires it, but can I protect my little kobold buddies from the fire that's coming down upon me? Oh, yeah. So that's so easy. You like toss them on your shoulder. Yeah. They're like riding your shoulders now yeah. and just. They're on uh, my shoulder going, ah! I'm like, yeah! <laughs> yeah they're stabbing at your friends from their new vantage point. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they cast a spell themselves downward, but uh, that's, that's the four damage that McDagger took. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah okay yeah, so you've okay. got two kobolds on your shoulder and and honestly uh you're starting to feel a bond with these two kobolds you feel I like am. maybe uh they just sort of stick around with you no matter what your choice was now yeah yeah, yeah you're getting that well, sense i mean that i i really i first started growing a bond with spitz the one on the uh left side that spits when he talks um he 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 was just the first one that that was just like a kindred spirit. Yeah, he's and all then, there like uh, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And then Bryce, uh, he was he was a little cold to me at first, but I think he's growing on me. <laughs> Bryce is that what you said? Yep, Bryce. Just making sure. All right, Spitz and Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh. Uh, okay, so what are you guys doing as you make your way uh, further toward? The building you, you've moved into the crater blown by mcdagger uh and uh yeah what are your next set of actions uh i will i will go ahead and use some of my uh acrobatic moves i saw flitz do it and i'm like oh yeah that's right uh and i i got a crossbow and a rapier and i'm just like doing like parkour uh but it's you know it's like not actual i think it's parkour like i, I go up to a rock and i just kind of like huh, parkour and then i like <laughs> slash at like a cobalt and like shooting a bunch and i i get up to flitz uh doing a bunch of damage to just like i don't know a million it seems you know or just one i'm not quite sure it's you know it's a blur i'm, I'm so fast they're so slow you know what it you know what it is anyway so i take out i just <laughs> who knows how many right 
Uh, and finally I get up to Flitz. I'm like, Flitz, listen. And I hold out that wand that I got. And I said, listen, you seem like a far more capable person than anyone else on this team. I'm going to give this to you. You can use it wisely. I feel like we got off on the wrong foot, and I'm sorry for accusing you of stealing my ships. I never really did, but I feel like that's the vibe that we had. I know you didn't. It's fine. Mine are just better. Anyways, I want you to have this. Use it as you will. I got your six. And I shoot uh, not at six, like just the wrong way completely <laughs> from when I say I got your six, like in front of you, basically. I shoot at your and 12. I, I, <laughs> I, I got your 12. Uh, and I shoot at another kobold. Um <laughs> And that's, yeah, that's a 17 plus something. I'm sure that hits. Oh, yeah. You kill that kobold. Uh, yeah. Dead in its tracks. <clears throat> Did you see that one? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I got a good feeling about this. Uh, oh, I can't hear you. Yeah, Jenna, we can't hear you. Sorry. <laughs> Flitz takes the, the wand and puts it in her pack and says, yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> 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 he nods yeah all right <laughs> yeah all right who else has actions uh to perform well um a me okay <laughs> <laughs> barb doesn't really want to hurt the kobolds but you know rock in a hard place and there's just so many of them uh, and so she starts she takes her battle axe and she just starts mowing the lawn you know what i'm saying she's just swinging left to right like that and you know those little cobalts like just every which way you know they really didn't stand too much of a chance i love that barb soft. has two modes like pacifist and fucking murder <laughs> <laughs> well i'm hoping they're just knocked out or maimed i don't want to kill them uh okay but i did roll a 22 so <laughs> Yeah, all right. You clear some path uh, for the uh, uh, <laughs> on your way to the the building. What happens to them? Who can say? You know, um, <laughs> life's funny sometimes, and you never really know <laughs> how, what's gonna happen. They all go live to, uh, live on a farm. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Great. Uh, oh, for my move. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I would like to, at this point, I've completely forgotten that I was supposed to be hidden and like on their team. So I'm just running with the rest of the group. Um, <laughs> and at this point, like I got hit and I was like, oh, oh, I think, I'm, I think that almost killed me. I'm almost dead. Like barely even has a scratch. And he's like, uh, uh, and runs up to Barb and sees Barb just mowing through people. So what he's going to do, what kind of like, are you wearing armor, Barb? No. What are you wearing? clothing wow just like just regular clothes like yeah like, <laughs> no well, i'm he, uh khakis okay he's going to <laughs> he's gonna like grab the clothing in the back of barb and just lift her up and keep running using her as like a shield slash battering ram <laughs> as she just slices through everything and he's like oh I keep slicing while he carries me. I feel like that's <laughs> even more effective. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, so, just to be clear, this party composition is two barbarians and two rogues. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just making sure. <laughs> uh, Flitz, what are you doing? Flitz does several more flippy tricks and stabs one of the little kobolds that's sneaking up on McDagger. <laughs> okay um actually she doesn't oh okay uh so i need everyone to make deck saving throws again Twenty-one. Seven, three. Seven, uh, plus seven. Ten. Nineteen. <clears throat> Woo. thank god i have advantage because i rolled a one but uh, it is a 14. Okay. Uh, McDagger, you take six. Everyone else takes two uh, from the spells that are blasting around. <laughs> and then uh, you guys look like you probably could get uh, one more round in before you could reach the uh, the field of darkness ahead of you. 
Okay, I say, Kaz, throw me like like sideways, like a big throwing star. I'm going to hold my battle axe out and my nails on this arm, and I'm just going to spin like a lawnmower. The second yeah. half of that explanation, you are in the air saying. Because you were like, Kaz, throw me. And he's like, Hoo! And I rolled a 25. Yeah, you just spin. I uh, throw you in a perfect spiral. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, slicing your way through as you do. Uh, Have anyone I cleared else? a path to the door at least? Uh, there are. You've cleared out a good chunk. Yeah, everyone can make their way to the, the darkness this time. Um, there are still ones to attack on the sides if people still want to make attacks and try to uh, thin the herd. But you think you'll be able to reach the darkness this round if you just want to <clears throat> run. Absolutely running. Okay. So Flitz makes her way Go to ahead, darkness. I'll, I'll cover. I'll cover. Everyone get in there. Okay. So, uh, Kazarak, are you running through or are you uh, distracted? Uh, with yeah, your I, I threw Barb and then uh, started screaming because I just realized I threw away the shield. And <laughs> I was I panicked, okay? And so then uh, I'm like, oh, oh. And so I, <laughs> I, I open my shirt up. And I take Spitz and put him in there so his head's just popping out. And then I take Bryce and put him in so that his head's popping out. And I'm like, don't worry, I'll save you. <laughs> All right, you so charge into I the darkness. Uh, McDagger, what are you doing uh, as everyone has charged toward the dark? Heroically, McDagger is there covering everyone's 12, shooting crossbow bolts, <laughs> rapiering just magnificently. And as everyone gets into the darkness, he pulls out his last two sticks of dynamite, lights them, and throws them off to the left and right, and then dips into the darkness. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Uh, just as you pass into the darkness beyond, there is an explosion behind you. Uh, well, two explosions uh, as uh, the dynamite explodes. Uh, you have no idea what kind of damage it dealt because now all four of you are in magical darkness. Uh, all, I'm sorry, all six of you are in magical darkness. Uh, oh no, <laughs> I'm lying. No, They've Kaz, got it's us. Okay. It's okay, I'm Kaz. gonna die. Here, hold my hand. Is that you, God? This is me. Is this that is you? me, Barb. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. You sound like Barb. I am oh Barb. God. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, boys, stay close to me. Breathe with me. Stay close breathe to me, in. boys. Breathe in. Stay close. <laughs> Breathe in and out. Slow. No, you're doing it too fast. It's too fast. Slow down. And I want to rage. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Kazarok goes into a rage, and when rage, when Kazarok rages, he must make a roll on the wild magic surge table uh, for Whoa. barbarians, uh, as oh. he is a wild magic barbarian. Which I think, I think Barb is also a wild magic barbarian. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Everyone made the coolest character. So, uh, so can I, uh, where's that? I don't know where the wild magic barbarian table is. Oh, I, don't I didn't know. bring it up last time. No, I know. We've got it. Wild magic barbarian table. Uh, all right, Path of Wild Magic. Here we go. Go ahead and give me a, a D8 roll, and I'll tell you what happens. All right, let's do that wonderful, good, awesome stuff. Um, a D8. Looks like that's one of those are here. Yeah, there we go. No, not 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 two. One. Okay. A four. Magic infuses one weapon of your choice that you are holding, and until the rage ends, the weapon's damage type... This is literally the same thing you got last time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me do another one, then. <laughs> wait, wait, it is Bryce. it the one where Bryce the, the weapon teleports now. back to me? Yeah, you can throw the weapon, and it teleports yes, back to you. Actually, Just, I want that one. Yeah, keep it. It's fine. So your magic, you, uh, magic infuses one weapon of your choice that you are holding, and until your rage ends, the weapon's damage type changes to force, and it gains the light and throne properties with a normal range of 20 feet and a long Long range of 60 feet if the weapon leaves your hand the weapon reappears in your hand at the end of the current turn so what weapon is uh kazarak carrying that is now a throwable teleporty weapon um he was using his uh his magic staff 
And by magic staff, he means his battle axe of warding. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, yes, now it is a force weapon, and if you throw it, it t- comes back. I'm sorry, great axe of warding. I great know. axe of warding. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Axe. Uh, oh, so, what? Uh, you guys are now in this magical darkness field. Uh, you know roughly where you're headed, but you can't see anything, and you're all just kind of uh, lumped together here. Uh, what's what's the plan? Marco. <laughs> Polo. Oh, Barb. Okay, Marco. <laughs> yeah, okay. Barb, gotcha. Um, Kaz, yeah, are I you go. around? Everyone, come, come towards the sound of my voice. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's running around uh, in the dark. <laughs> Rage He's just running around. Let's all go, you know, I cast the darkness towards the place we need to go. If we, we go dark, does it look darker in any direction? Like more dark? If we go hey. that way, I feel like we'll hit the door. Give me a perception check. I am perceiving <laughs> a 10. A 10. Okay. So you can't see in the darkness. It doesn't look more or less dark anywhere. Uh, You're just kind of going off of your feeling, your sense of direction, right? You know roughly which direction you needed to go to go toward the door. You are still going in that direction and hoping that it all clicks. (laughs) So uh, uh, I would say that uh, who's sort of leading this? Barb, is it you? You're leading this Yeah, I feel like I, you know, I ran towards the door when I knew where I was going and I'm still pointed that way. I'm just going to keep going forward. You slam right into a wall. Uh, Just (laughs) face first into a wall. Uh, When you do it rattles, the wall rattles a little bit. Uh, But you think that you're close. You're just uh, not quite dead onto the door. This door is really hard, you guys. (laughs) Uh... Okay, I'm going to feel around for it. I'm going to feel to the towards the right. Flitz, what are you doing during this? I feel like you've been um, intentionally quiet. <laughs> Flitz has just kind of closed her eyes and started listening and, and, and feeling really attuned to herself because she loves the shadows. She lives for the shadows. Um, and can I make a perception? Yeah, give to me see a if perception. I can walk straight toward. Yeah. That's a 23. Okay, hey, nice. uh, there is some difficulty because for some reason, uh, Kazarok is running around screaming, just throwing <laughs> off your sense of direction in the dark here. Uh, but you kind of map it out in your mind. Uh, and Barb is about four inches to the left of where she needs to be. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of guide yourself and anyone you choose right to the edge of the doorway uh, so that you are all standing right in the, uh, the at the edge of this golden curtain. Yeah, I walk up and, and, and grab the door and I hold my hand out and I'm like, Barb, honey! Barb! Oh, hi! Barb! <laughs> oh my Barb. god! Oh, there and it I, is! Oh my gosh! I, I was so close, though. I was so close. Thank so you. close. Thank you. You know, all right, you just right. have a beautiful spirit, and and I appreciate that about you. Uh, Thanks. Ka- Kaz, in your running around, you do hear them talking, so I think maybe, or, like, where? what are you, what's do your I plan? Do I bump into anything as I'm running? Uh, yeah, you bump into some kobolds who are in the darkness uh, it, as whatever well. Whatever I bump into, I just swing immediately. No, demon! <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, great. How long does this magical darkness last, Barb? Do you know? Uh, it says 10 minutes. Okay, that's a long time. That's fine. <laughs> uh, great. So, uh, <laughs> McDagger, they're at the door. Are you with them? Are you wandering? Like, what's happening for you? Uh, so, now that there's magical darkness, um, Mick feels like he can kind of let down the charade a little bit. Uh, charade? Charade? Char- Charade. Yep. That's no. Nope, you let down the charade. That's fine. Yep. The charade. Yeah. <laughs> I, and he says that now that it's magical darkness and no one can see me, I shall let down my charade. Uh, <laughs> he very definitely jumps off of a big boulder, just timing it perfectly to jump onto Kazarak's back, and he's going to <laughs> ratatouille, ratatouille style, control him towards the door, uh, in like. 
right as we hit the door, he's going to jump off and like battering ram, uh, kick Kazarak into the door and then walk into the door also. The whole time you're on my back, I have turned my great axe sideways because I don't want to hurt myself. And I've been trying to swing it back to hit you. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, get him, boys. And the kobolds kind of pop out <laughs> facing you and just start stabbing. Mm hmm. So that's that's just what I'm doing in 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 reaction to something I don't know what is what is something just randomly jumping on me as I'm uh, running around screaming. Mick Dagger, take four damage. Okay, I was gonna say I, I think I I was wondering if I can maybe do a deck save because what you feel, Kazarak, is like someone's tap dancing on your back as I'm just dodging every hit. Spiders, <laughs> oh, it's and I'm a just spider. going left and right. I think yeah. that's okay to have happened, and you still take four damage just from the stabbing okay. and swinging. You know what? It's pretty cool. I'll take the damage. <laughs> <laughs> going to be great scars. Uh, yeah, so you point you him at the door and you let him loose. Kazarek, are you just charging through in front of you? Like, uh, oh, yeah. if, okay. if I finally got the spider off my back, I'm going to be like, good job, boys. Good job. Get back in my shirt. And then I'm just going to keep running forward. Ah! So right past you, Barb and Flitz goes running Kazarak right into the doorway. Uh, Kazarak, you pass into this place. Suddenly the darkness is gone. The room you step into is a uh, like a soft blue and purple lighting uh, as the, there is glowing coming from the various crystals and implements around the room. Uh, this front hall is very narrow. The space uh, that is is here is narrow, and then there's a doorway that leads deeper into this complex. Uh, there are thousands of, of various little components. You you recognize a lot of this stuff as stuff you have in your fanny pack. Uh, there seems it's almost like a little apothecary set up in here. He's gonna just like skid to a stop and <gasps> oh, I can I can see again. Oh, are you all right, boys? Are you okay? Are you are you all right? Uh, let me. Oh no, you better not kill my boys. <laughs> I, this is Bryce, so hard is because I rolled a one and a twenty, <laughs> and now oh, I don't know what that means. Shoes. <laughs> I'm, right oh. I'm telling you right now, there are two boys there. If you take spits from me. I will kill everyone and then myself and then quit this podcast or this this stream right now. But I don't R. know. Which one are you taking? I, I don't know. I mean, there's Spitz and Bryce. Uh, I just think maybe Bryce is unconscious. He's not dead. He's just unconscious. You've smacked him. Uh, you smacked into things. Uh, and he is, uh, he's not, he's not uh, awake. Bryce, are you? Oh, look at him. He's sleeping. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you I know. You're plum tuckered out. You have a good... You you rest. Spitz, look after him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to walk around and see all this crazy apothecary stuff and just go, oh. Uh, Barb and uh, Flitz and McDagger, you also enter into this space. Uh, similar for you. Uh, if there was something particular you want to try to look for or look at, you can go ahead and make an investigation check. Otherwise, uh, the space looks largely the same. I got a dirty 20. I'm going to look for some healing potions or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, looking around the room, you find uh, six potions. Some of them, uh, two of them are of questionable uh, make. You don't know what they are, per se. Uh, but there are four minor healing potions scooping stuff off into my bag. I, I did a two for investigation, so I find a nickel. You did. <laughs> it's actually just a block of nickel. Not worth much in this world, but uh, oh. it is a block of nickel. Yeah. <laughs> I also got a two, so I found uh, also a nickel. <laughs> it's actually the same block of nickel that she already found, which is sort of disappointing. <laughs> Yeah, she hands it to me. I go, wow, look at what I found. <laughs> I rolled a 19. What are you, what are you, anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, no, he is literally just scooping stuff into a bag. He's like, yeah, Ooh, yeah, you're just, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're grabbing up all kinds of components. You get your arms wrapped around um, a small uh, stone gem that seems to be glowing with light. Uh, mm. And as your like hand touches it, it's like, thank you so much. And you just tuck it into your bag. Yeah. And then as oh, you're just... shut up. 
<laughs> Mick Dagger's like, oh, look what I found. And I come by, yunk. Put it in my bag. <laughs> okay. There is a doorway that goes deeper in. Uh, and uh, I will say, glancing around, nobody sees a unicorn horn in this apothecary area. Oh, wow. That was two words, but it sounded like one. That's right. We were supposed to look for stuff. <laughs> Well, I want to go through the other door. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you push open the other door. Uh, the door creaks open, and inside the room is lit with candles along both walls. Uh, it looks like a place has been set up for uh, people to kneel and worship. And there is a large, scaly mound that fills most of the room. Oh, no. What's what? What's oh no? What? Why? What's this? Oh no! Flitz, what's going on? Flitz backs away very slowly. The mound begins to shift as you've opened the door and begun to speak. Uh, it swings itself around and it stretches out wide. The large wings on its back reaching up. Uh, toward the the edges of the room, uh, the creature has no arms. Uh, but it does have legs, and it's onto its long, scaly body, its large, lizard-like mouth, uh, as the wyvern takes a big gulp of air and stretches out in front of you. Um, and you can see the sort of the little claws at the end of its wings. Uh, the wyvern's voice trembles as it says, Who has come to awaken me? Are you a unicorn? Unicorn? I am no unicorn. I am a servant. A unicorn? Yeah. We yeah. need like a horn. You know You know where we can, you know? You have come to claim a unicorn's horn from me? Yeah, he's going to look at the group. That's that's what we're here for, right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> we're here for. Can you help uh, us? <laughs> you want to come with us? I have no desire to come with you. I am a servant of the Dragon King, and I use these materials in his will. You would defy a god? Yeah. I can give you a pie if that would help. Oh, those pies are real good. <laughs> you should try one. Like, Is it your like birthday? <gasps> Is it your birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. You didn't want to join us. Happy birthday to you. And many more. I have no day of birth like you mortals do. Oh, no. That's so sad. Can we make today your birthday? I I think it best I don't require such strange mortal tendencies as to celebrate the passage of time. You can still have pie, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole purpose of a birthday is pie and presents. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. And he's going to dig into his bag and grab just, like, some random components and wrap them together. I got you a present. He looks down at this pile. Uh, he says, is that a pile of my things you just took from that other room? No. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's uh, wise for you to continue to be here as you are beginning to anger me. Uh, I rolled an 18 investigation to see if I can find a unicorn horn lying around. Okay. Yeah. So you're <laughs> glancing around here. Uh, there are a few places set up around the room that appear to be uh, like chalk lines have been etched into the ground uh, you know, in a shoddy way, we'll say. I'd say the kobolds are not necessarily the greatest um, uh, ritualists, uh, but the you can tell that the wyvern has been trying to get it to follow, get them to follow instructions mediocrely, we'll say. Uh, but there are uh, a big ritual circle drawn on the ground, and there are several spots around this ritual circle that are um, small piles of material components have been built up. With an 18, I would say the back of the room, you spot a unicorn horn within one of the piles on the ritual circle. Nice. While 
while he's distracted with uh, Kazarak, can I roll stealth to try to sneak back there? Yeah, give me a stealth check. Okay. So yeah, I plus mean, the, 10 best part, the best part about birthdays is like the, the pie, Ooh. the presents, and like there's games you can play. Oh, you're very lucky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the second time tonight that on an advantage roll, I rolled a 20 and a 1. Um, oh. but he has a plus five so you just beat his uh with your stealth you just beat his perception uh so i think probably what happens is you sneak past him uh and he's listening to kazarok and he's like shaking his head no no stop I mean, stop don't, don't knock it until you try it that's the problem was there the not just before. more of you he's looking around what <laughs> no, I'm I'm the only I'm the only wizard here. But, well, Drew. Yeah. So, McDagger, you get your hands on the unicorn horn behind him, but you are now behind him with the unicorn horn in hand. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> he he. T- <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. And I turns- throw it, and I throw it to Flitz. <laughs> okay. Uh, Good it, throw. Right. It sails Flitz. through the air. Give me a dex check a regular like dexterity attack we'll say as you throw it to me uh yes yes as okay you throw it to flitz okay. flitz i want you to make a dex save to catch it if it is your intention to catch it if it is not your intention to catch it that's fine is this a save or just a, like a not for you deck? for you it's a plus dex attack roll okay uh that's 17 okay so it, it sails relatively accurately Ooh. towards you uh so what are you gonna do i am going to catch it with a 19 okay yeah you reach up you snatch yes! the horn he his head snaps back <laughs> to mcdagger and then snacks snaps back to you and he says sister you think i won't kill you just because we share kin? <laughs> <laughs> roll an attack roll run damn it run <laughs> Flitz oh, immediately a, takes off going, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Uh, 18 plus 7, uh, uh, 25. Okay, that hits. Do we roll damage against this? Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, 8 damage. Okay. I'll just go ahead no. and mark, a, mark an 8 against that health total. That'll, uh, yeah, that's, that's why good. I was wondering if you actually wanted me to <laughs> McDagger, no, it's pin the tail on the donkey. Not that, No. You have made a grave mistake, mortal. Uh, I would like everyone. First. <laughs> I'd like everyone to roll initiative, if you would please. Yeah. Initiative. <laughs> oh no, that is a nine. It's an eight. Do I roll initiative? Uh, add your dexterity modifier if you see that to a d twenty. Yes. Okay. 14. 13. Okay. So the dragon's going to go first, and then you guys can decide your own turn order each round. Um, but the dragon's going to take the first uh, attempt here. Uh, or the I'm sorry, the wyvern is not a dragon, explicitly. So the wyvern takes in a big breath, like his lungs swell. They begin to glow with silver light, and then he just releases a blast of silver fire down onto you uh so can you make get behind me i'm fireproof (laughs) it's going right on to mcdagger who's behind him still so mcdagger (laughs) give me a dex saving throw to avoid this fiery blast can i still jump behind barb yes you're welcome to jump behind barb um 24 okay all right so you take ten. Uh, okay. As you Ooh, dive you, out uh, of the way. Yeah. As I die? Mm. No. <laughs> well, maybe. Did you die? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, but I will feign dying. I'm gonna. Can I do a deception check and be like, "Oh, you got me. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm in my death throes." <laughs> uh, yes. Mama, you may. I've missed you. <laughs> yeah. My sweet Caroline. There you are. Bum, bum, bum. 
That's a uh, uh, 23 deception. <laughs> He's like, I will eat your corpse later, mortal. And then he, sw- he swings back to... <laughs> Uh, he swings toward Barb and uh, Kazarok, and he says, you are next. Uh, and he closes the distance across the room very fast. But it Protect is your, <laughs> you can uh, make your actions. You're now in combat directly with the creature. You can turn and run. He will have an, an attack of opportunity, or you can stand and fight. Okay, I'm going to go into a rage out of necessity here. Okay, so and, I would uh, I would also have you roll a d8, and I will tell you uh, <laughs> which thing triggers from the cha- the table. I got a one, so I have shadowy tendrils lashing around me. Uh, I'm gonna choose the uh, <laughs> wyvern. Uh, uh, ooh, I choose each. Yep. Um, okay, you have to succeed on a Constitution saving throw or take a d12 of necrotic damage. Um, and I have more hit points. So do I roll a hit as well? It's what, DC? What's the con save? Does it say? No. <laughs> uh, so, oh, 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 it says uh, DC 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your con mod. What's your constitution modifier, does it say? It is plus 6. Okay. So, all right, great. Uh, he failed. Uh, so yes, you roll a d12 for damage and you gain d12 temporary hit points plus your barbarian level. So five. So, so five uh, plus 12 plus whatever I roll on a d12. Five plus d12. Okay. Is how many hit points you gain. And then d12 is how much you deal. Okay. <laughs> So roll, roll me a d12. I rolled a 12, so... Oh, oh, you rolled a 12. Okay. So you you gain 17 hit points as temporary hit points. Now roll another d12 for me. Okay. A three. All right. You deal the wyvern three damage. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds good. Uh, uh, So, Kesarok, what are you going to do? Um... All right, so I see uh, Flitz kind of haul nuts, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go, Flitz! And then I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take Bryce and take Spitz and then put Bryce in Spitz's lap and then kind of grab them both and then throw them towards uh, Flitz. <laughs> take care of my boys! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and so uh when he does that, he's going to uh he's just going to look at the dragon and go, "It's me you want. Leave the boys alone. It's me you want." <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh uh <laughs> Flitz, what are you doing? Um I I'm I have to catch these boys. Clearly. Yeah, so I guess give me a deck save to catch the boys. <laughs> catch them boys. Catch them boys. That's a 16. Okay. You catch them boys. They're on They're on you. You got them. <laughs> and then I'm going to pull out my bow and shoot at the wyvern. Okay. Oh, my God. And the whole time I'm like, why are we doing this? 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 It's a f- 15. Uh, 15, uh, does not hit. You, uh, bounce oh. off of its scales. Tink. That's not good. <laughs> uh, the wyvern, uh, watching, uh, Kezarok jump around saying, you want me, you want me, you want me. Uh, he rears back and tries to clamp down onto Kazarok with his jaws. Uh... The first attack, he comes in. Kazarok, you dodge out of the way. You don't Um, want me. You don't want me. You don't want me. (laughs) He swings in again with his jaws. Oh, my God. He rolled a one. (laughs) (laughs) So I think Kazarok, uh, he comes at you, and you dodge in just the right way that he, like, 
smashes his face into the side of the building, which just smashes out the side wall. And the whole thing starts to crumble down on top of him, uh, slamming into the back of his head. He lets out a huge roar, uh, spraying silver flame into the sky, uh, blasting a hole into the ceiling that is now crumbling around him. Was any of that towards Flitz? Like, the, did any of that crumbling fall around Flitz? Or uh, close to <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit crumbles down, like right next to her. So then, as as uh as the wyvern falls and that stuff falls on top of it, he's gonna move some of the stuff out the way and look at right and I and go, "You almost hurt my boy." <laughs> <laughs> When it's my turn, I'll rage again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. You can do it right now. It's your turn. So okay. uh, throw that D8 and tell me what happens. Yeah. Or I'll tell you what happens. Yeah, you will. Six. Until your rage ends, you are surrounded by multicolored protective lights, and you gain a plus one bonus to AC, and while within 10 feet of you, your allies gain the same bonus. So you and, uh, right now, it would be uh, you and Flitz are both swirling with colored light and And have plus one to AC. Barb's close to me because I was hiding behind Barb. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's all three of you. (laughs) I'm just like, I see these lights start to come out. I'm like, the power of parenthood <laughs> <laughs> i would like to uh attack this uh wyvern okay go ahead all right so uh how, damn, how do i oh actions there we go so that is a nat 20 <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so what i need you to do is roll your damage uh-huh. then add your modifiers then mm-hmm. add whatever your maximum damage would have been on a like whatever the maximum for a die roll would have been got you okay oh oh uh, okay um for battle x i think that's a d12 it's 2d12 2d12 so that's a base yeah. 24 <laughs> well yeah so base 24 and then let me roll these two and that is going to be plus 14. <clears throat> okay. So <laughs> That's a good strike. Yeah. So he's just... <laughs> you sink the, the axe deep into his back, and he lets out another roar, uh, screaming out the side of the building. Uh, blood begins to trickle from his wound, uh, in that you have, you have severed into the, uh, the scales and into the flesh itself. And we'll be like, that was for spirits. And then uh, I will attack again because I get multi two attacks. <laughs> and that's a 12. Okay, that one does not hit. Uh, <laughs> uh, tink, that, that was, was for. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a drop wow. of the Wyvern's blood splashes onto the ground. And no, you, you see the blood. You smell the blood, and something inside you, Kazarok, stirs. Something dark and forgotten stirs inside you, and you get a flash in your mind of every person you've lost along the way, every person you've been friends with who has died, every battle that has uh, touched you just dredges up into your mind, including a good friend who died recently, one who sat on the edge of a great cliff. And this darkness churns within you and starts to to rise like bile, uh, but it's still contained within. Uh, so everyone else has uh, action this round. Okay, I'm also going to rage again. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, you're still raging. You don't have to rage again. You're just oh, still in rage. Okay. I don't know how it works. Yeah, how yeah. You're going to rage for uh, like yeah, a minute. You, yeah, okay. a minute or until like you'd go around without attacking. Okay, then I'm gonna attack. Yeah, and a minute's like ten rounds, so you're you good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Make your attacks. Okay. Uh, so I roll a twenty. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> Was that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nat 20 or 20 total 
No, I meant I rolled the 20 and I got a four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that one's going to miss. Go ahead and roll your second attack. Oh. 14 plus, um, do I add any modifiers? Yes. Uh, strength plus your proficiency, which is, I think, a three. You guys at three? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, plus yes, six. So that's three. 20 plus... That's a hit. You got a fourteen yeah. plus the six. That's plenty. So, okay. um, yeah, you hit. You hit. So go ahead and roll the damage on your weapon, which is uh, a twelve. Okay. Yep. And then plus, add your ooh. add your strength. Twelve plus three plus. Wait, is it twelve plus three plus strength? Probably that three is already incorporated as your strength. Okay. Rob's pretty efficient. <laughs> well, it says. Oh, okay. Yes, you're correct. And that is an 11, which makes it a 14. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. The You also smash into the wyvern with your uh, axe, right? You got an axe? Battle axe. Yeah. And uh, it lets out another roar of anger. And it, you can see just rage in its eyes. Uh, I think we still have uh, some <laughs> two actions to go. me no no for uh no. <laughs> for the rest of the group i don't know what what uh mcdagger is gonna do if he's just laying there <laughs> yeah go ahead flitz okay uh flitz is gonna take out uh, seeing the hole in the roof she's gonna take out her little sil- silver whistle and whistle for the airship okay it's gonna take um at least a round to get here okay yeah uh, and then i'm gonna down actually... one of those health potions sounds good uh so it's like 2d4 plus four All right, McDagger, what are you up to? Um, <clears throat> I am going to get up and uh, stab into the back of this wyvern while I'm yelling, my heroic death didn't, like, you should have ran. Like, that was the whole thing. Get away. What are we doing here? Can we even kill this thing? As I'm stabbing <laughs> it in the back with my with my rapier. Okay. Uh, He's come back from the dead. <laughs> Uh, that's a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Uh, and I want to. I want to think I got sneak attack on this. Yep. They thought right, you were so dead, that's... so yes. <laughs> Fair. Ooh, dang. So that's uh, 22 damage from okay. my rapier. And then I'm going to uh. Because I hit it with a uh, uh, melee attack, uh, it can't hit me with a attack of opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and take a dac- dash action and be like, let's get the fuck out of here. What are we doing? You got the <laughs> horn? Let's go. All right, this you run like out. Probably not even a quarter health dawn. <laughs> gone you... and done is what gone. That's what I said. I can't even say it again. I messed up so bad. <laughs> let's go. So you're running past the group, or, or toward the group, or I guess you're running past the the wyvern to the other side, yeah. and meeting up sort of with By the, the group. group, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the wyvern uh, spin pulls its head back, takes in another deep breath with his uh, that silver power in his lungs again, blows out fire one more time on everybody. I need another deck saving throw from everyone this time. Oofa doofa. Um, Seventeen. 23. Oh. So, so glad I have advantage on that. I have a 17, because that's another one I rolled at first. Okay, so you all take four damage from the silver as you all have jumped away from the silver fire. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Everyone's still up? Mm -hmm. Nope. (laughs) <laughs> all right oh no <laughs> wait is everyone still up no what about my boys the digger goes down oh good question about the boys oh, oh really you me. go down second sacrifice of the battle <laughs> <laughs> the boys are fine <laughs> okay do you really go down yeah oh no <laughs> that's all right there's a healer in this group i'm sure um so <laughs> uh actually why don't you give me your first death saving throw Cool. 
That's just straight D20, right? Yep. 10 plus. Six. All right, you get your first death. Uh, you can drink a potion unconscious if someone administers it to you. Uh, yeah, Flitz uh, absolutely is going to dump a potion down his throat. Okay, so you charge over to him. <laughs> so go ahead, uh, 2d4 plus 4. I'm sorry, 2d4, whatever. Yeah, 2d4 plus 4. And then you'll tell him how much he healed. Four and a two, so six plus four, ten. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> what the hell are you still doing here? <laughs> How many times do I have to die before you realize you got the damn horn? Get out. <laughs> We're at two now. Are you? Are you a cat? I don't want to find out. I've already died seven times before this. Oh, Let no. me do the math. I've got six left. That's not a, okay. No. Well, okay. Oh, we got six. We're good. <laughs> okay. Who else is doing things? Um, I mean, I can go if nobody else is going. Do it. Let's see it. All right. So I'm just like, uh. You know, I was like, ah, he's not dead, but you will be. Uh, oh, wait, actually, what's happening <laughs> no. with, uh, what's happening with all the, uh, darkness, the, the, the hot topic. Don't worry about that. Inside me. Don't worry about that. Okay, cool. Just make your so attacks. Ah! <laughs> and I attack. <laughs> okay. That is a 23. That hits. All right. Um... That is 14 damage. Okay. And then I'm going to do it again. <laughs> that is a 20. That's a hit. And that is... Oh, I, I, he might be dead. That <laughs> is a... Uh... Oh, uh, sorry. Continue. <laughs> That's four entire damage. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I kill him? No, you didn't. Uh, um, but he so is bl- he is bleeding a lot, and honestly, he looks worse than you might expect. Uh, and he looks worse than he expected. Uh, he's a like, troublesome mortals. Uh, and then that darkness continues to churn within you. It can see you can feel its intention. It senses strength. It senses power, and it wants to be unleashed. It wants to rain war and death upon this land and in a moment you feel it like rush up your esophagus it's like a like a like you got acid reflux and you can't handle it and out from you pours a black smoke that just tears out of your mouth uh and launches itself toward the wyvern and it washes over the creature's wounds and sort of worms its way inside the wyvern's body. And you watch as the eyes of the wizard wyvern glaze over. And then it rings back its wings like to full height, shadows washing over it. Uh, and another roar escapes from its mouth. And this time it is a black flame that flies up into the air. Uh, I'm going to have one more round from everybody. <laughs> I actually, Barb, you still have stuff to do, right? Go ahead and give me your last round, Barb. I didn't okay. do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, uh, I'll, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump up and I'm gonna start hacking at its head. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and make an attack roll at the head. And that is a 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you sink Actually, the axe. Do I add, the um, strength or? Yeah, you don't have to. You already hit. You're good. Okay. Wait, so that was a natural 20? Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, roll a d12. Tell me how much it was. D12. Oh, <laughs> only a three. Okay. So that is uh, uh, 18 damage that you deal uh, as you swing into the creature uh, and you sink your axe into its head. And I think it jerks back. So I need a strength saving throw from you after this attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, And that's a 15 plus 
a um, six. Okay. Uh, so it jerks back on its head and the axe flies from your hands. Uh, and it is Uh-oh. stuck like firmly in his head. And ah, he, yeah. uh, no, no, you are free from the axe. You're oh, on the, the ground. Axe is in his head. The axe is stuck in his head oh, and he, uh, beats his wings down. A blast of wind pushes against you guys. And he takes off up into the, uh, through the ceiling of this building, this structure, uh, and flies up just as the airship comes by one more powerful blast from his wings and the airship is thrown off course uh, as the wyvern takes to the sky and flies off into the darkness, a trail of shadow behind him. We did it! (laughs) (laughs) We win! Um... Uh... Well, okay. Uh, I don't feel good about that. I mean, I don't... (laughs) I don't feel great at all. I no. died one and a half times. Yeah. Uh, we first time was kind of big. Yeah, we thank you. Why'd you puke up smoke, bud? What? That's pretty weird. <laughs> Did I notice that it happened? <laughs> I, I hey, that's up to you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't Does know that what happen a lot? What? <laughs> I got a little gassy. I mean, you you never got mm. mid battle burps. Uh, 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 see, there is one right there. Uh, wait. I don't. I don't see any black smoke. Is there any coming out now? And he's just breathing in everyone's face. Any? Any? Ha! Ah, any now? Ha! Ah. No. Well, I don't. I don't know. Uh, well, uh, gang. I, I. I mean, I feel like um, you know, uh, not the smoothest uh, <laughs> way to get the unicorn horn, but uh, I must say, uh, we got the horn. That was the whole deal, right? Uh, big scary black dragon. Not my, not my problem. Um, he did take I my axe. I don't have. I, he took it. But yeah, well, okay. maybe I'm you sorry. can get a new one from uh, Silver Blade. You're right. Yeah, his name is Silver Blade. Maybe get a silver axe. That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as you head outside of this chamber uh all of the cobalts are scattering you know watching their um their their figure of worship uh take off into the sky they are abandoning the uh the place uh unfortunately for you flitz it looks like the ship that was on its way uh well it's on the countryside now uh, scattered across mm. uh uh the other side of the river uh so you'll have to walk back uh to that's, the, that's the two town. down <laughs> Flitz, where's your ship oh yeah Flitz, the, the, where's your ship the the wyvern killed it <gasps> yeah we shall avenge it too no we him? no no <laughs> see i need to be <laughs> really clear about this we should leave it alone One second, leave it alone saw with a great axe in his hand and when he was like we shall avenge it he just pulls another great axe out of nowhere like <laughs> Uh, so I will ask you a couple of follow-up questions and we'll do this, uh, th- this way. Uh, you, the unicorn horn, are you taking it to Silverblade? Yeah, it's what we're being paid yeah. to. Right? Okay, great. Uh, so Silverblade comes through on his deal. Uh, he takes, um, McDagger with him back to the Tower of Varai to, uh, lead up his, uh, initiative of flying ships he's working on. Uh, he, uh, Kazarok for you, he provides you with an amulet that, uh, allows you to cast four spells per long rest, uh, with the amulet, four level one wizard spells per long rest. Um, and you can feel as soon as the amulet is put on you, you can feel its touch of power. Like you can feel the spells just waiting there for you to use inside of them. Uh, for you, uh, Barb, he, he provides you with a nice stipend for your vacation. Uh, and all he asks uh, <laughs> in return is the location of this cave where he's going to go ahead and take care of the problem. So you don't have to worry about these skeletons anymore. Uh, there, there are no longer, you, you really don't have to worry about it. He's happy to take care of the problem for you. Uh, and there will be no world ending skeletons on his watch. Okay. Uh, and then for you, uh, Flitz, he provides you with a, a handsome sum of gold uh, mm. that you, you are uh, quite satisfied with. Um, he pretty much just 
lets you name your price. Now, when it comes back to Adventure Incorporated and your return there from your successful delivery of your message miss mission, uh, what information are you going to relay to uh, Elder Carapath? Uh, or sorry, not Elder Carapath. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Elder Carapath when you arrive. He burped black smoke. It was really weird. Big battle burps. <laughs> It's yeah. not. It's not that. Hey, McDagger died twice and kept coming back. Yeah, yeah but we can explain that. It, it went into a wyvern, so you know I have a suspicion yeah. that that might be a problem later. For you guys, not for us. Not for we us. We already money. did yeah. the thing. Yeah, I am gonna go home soon. Yeah. <laughs> I have a vacation. I've already booked a flight, actually. So I gotta. Yeah, I I'm gonna to need. Go. Um, I actually do need some time off. Um, I need parental leave because of my boys. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. oh, okay, but was there anything about Silverblade that you could bring me? Information I might use? Yes. Oh, I got yes. tons of it. I work for him, actually. Uh, in fact, act, you know, the check with the gold, if you can make that out to Mick McDagger Silverblade, uh, Captain <laughs> Mick McDagger Silverblade, please, uh, that would be great. Um, anyways. Uh, out of my office. Ride, out, no, out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna offer everyone a ride in my brand new airship, uh, yeah. the Sky Dagger Two, the Sky Dagger. Uh, hold on, hold it's on. It's a lot actually, to put on the side of the ship, but it looks great. Anyways. Actually, now that I have this amulet, let me just get rid of these other seventy-eight. And he takes them all off, throws them into a trash can, and goes, "All I need is this." Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he starts digging through them and goes, "Nope." Nope. and that's where we're gonna nope. call it uh thank you so much first of all thank you to the four of you for coming to join us i super appreciate yeah. you coming to play with us again it was just so much fun thank you to everyone who in the chat who came to join us again it is adventure march again we are uh doing a giveaway at the end of the month we're going to be here every thursday night at 8 p.m with different events next week is third's day so that is our traditional tavern night so we're going to have our tavern night next thursday uh the week after that uh which is our fourth the fourth day <laughs> We're going to be doing a board game night. And then the last night, fifth day, is our Q&A. So uh, come back every Thursday for those 8 o'clock p.m. right here. Uh, throw us the favorite follow link thing. Yeah, do that uh, now while you can. Uh, and then you won't miss it. Uh, also, if you uh, have any of those Bezos bucks laying around, throw them at us. Don't give them more money. But if you already have it, throw it at us. It's cool. <laughs> Or head to patreon.com slash adventure inc where you can support the show and hear more from these people, these lovely, lovely folks who are with us tonight. Uh, and you can also buy stuff on the shop, like the new Lester Restoration t shirt, which I think is pretty great. Uh, okay, that's uh, our stuff. I'm going to throw it around the room one more time for these fine folks to tell you where you can find them. I'm going to start with Kazarok. Well, actually, you're not that anymore, you're now bees. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome but welcome back to being a person oh my god that was that was so much fun i loved it um and just you know i just want to i, I want to say that i am happy with kazarok's uh <laughs> growth to be a parent you know it's, it's just it's what i've always wanted for him um what is up everyone i am big bees the friendly neighborhood now lactose free with only two percent gluten harbinger of height um i am on my channel randomly um on big bees big underscore bees on twitch where i play a bunch of uh well right now i'm playing through elden ring and then at night i play scary games because people like to see me scream um <laughs> yeah i don't know why uh uh you can also catch me on rf chaos on saturdays where I'll be playing a very anxious bean in our uh, masks game, The Unremarkables. And starting this Tuesday coming up, starting March 15th, will be the first of many of my Pokemon one-shots, starring one of the most amazing people in the world. He's, you know, somebody's going to be in that game. But yeah, uh, other than that, you can follow me on any other platform at biggest underscore bees. And that's about it. All right, Rebecca. 
Hi, me again, Rebecca. Thank you so much, everyone. That was delightful. Uh, I, I'm still learning the ropes of all the, you know, the numbers, but I had a great time and you're all wonderful. And if you're interested, uh, I am also to be heard on the podcast, The Slanted Hallway. We release a new original episode every single Wednesday. And uh, if you like, you know, the Twilight Zone or Monty Python, I like to think this kind of combines the best of those things. It's very spooky and silly and dumb. And I love it very much. We make original art, original music. We do all the voices ourselves. None of us are paid. Um, (laughs) (laughs) And uh, yeah, so check us out. This Landed Hallway. um, Anywhere you get your podcasts. Adam oh beans seriously this was so much fun thank you so much for having me on uh i'm very excited to uh get back on potentially another patreon app for a guest spot because i can't wait for mick dagger to go on a hunt for the rest of his missing ships and uh, either get him back or shoot him down we'll see uh anyway, so go subscribe to uh, patreon.com slash adventure inc or adventure incorporated whatever it is there's a link somewhere i'm sure anyway uh it's adventure inc yeah uh i know um just checking if you do anyways you can uh, go check out my pokemon 5e DD podcast the roaring trainers canto in the jazz age pokemon set in the 1920s it's a lot of fun what did i say uh fart jokes and dark stuff uh that's do it. About it do it it's yep. it's one of my favorites it should happen uh oh, go 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 shucks. thank you uh and that's uh that's it that's all i got thank you <laughs> thank you jenna <laughs> And I'm Jen Chill or Jenna Chill everywhere on the internet. You can find me every Monday and Tuesday on Botched, a D and D podcast, uh, and Horse Girls every other Wednesday. Oh, this has been a hell of a time. Thank you for everybody for everything. Hey, d- wait, You're all real quick, real quick. Dang's in the chat for Anthony. Come on. <laughs> This is yeah, uh, they're yeah. they're used to me. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> <you'd be> great. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody. We will see you all again real soon. Uh, when it's uh next week here for Adventure March. Goodbye. Yeah.